Hello, and welcome everybody watching to our Variant Rolls Halloween special, a little game I concocted a few years ago called Mad Mad House. It's a game without too much story on my part, driven mostly by our beloved players, a couple ragtag people I've managed to get together from the great and powerful interwebs. So I'll start off by going around and let everyone introduce who they are and where they come from, and we'll get to who they're playing a little bit later. So I will start over with CA. Hello, everybody. I'm Kayata Ganarchy. I am from Thread Raiders, also one of the co-hosts from the Thread Raiders podcast. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm looking forward to playing this game with you guys. Excellent. And moving over to... Let's move down to Litsa. Hi, I'm Litsa. Um, I am on Twitter at Litsa Bronwyn, and I uh, frequently release D&D stuff on Patreon, which is linked on my Twitter. Nice. And up to Sam. Um, hello, I'm Sam, and uh, my Twitter handle is at Moderbjorn with an underscore. Um, I don't really do a whole lot. I crochet and knit. That's kind of just <laughs> what I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> and moving down to Ken. Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me. I'm super, super pumped to play this game with y'all today. Um, I'm Ken Breeze. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Burling's Beard. I'm an independent uh, RPG content creator and for Hire DM in the New York City area. Uh, I'm just about to release something called the Adventure Mixtape, which is really sick. You should check it out. I'm releasing it with three other amazing content creators. The Arcane Li Library, if you know her, amazing. Anyways, it's releasing uh, this next week. It's four one-shot D&D adventures and four uh, songs that go along with each of the adventures. So check it out. Uh, it really goes well with uh, the latest sort of wizard releases, uh, specifically the Waterdeep ones. Anyways, I'm super pumped to play this, so thanks again for having me. All right, and last but not least, TK. Hi, folks. I'm TK. Uh, you can find me at Kenthos88. I'm a co-host of the Thread Raiders podcast, and... Used to stream Shadowrun every other Tuesday. We're switching it up to uh, what we're calling Thread Raiders of the Galaxy. <laughs> based off of, very loosely based off of the rules for uh, Starfinder because I homebrew everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited to play this game because I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm, I'm the forever DM getting to play for a chance. <laughs> Excellent. And the last his guest actually is me. I'm Max McLaren. I am part of Variant Roles and can be found on Twitter at AllMaxD20. This is, like I said before, a little something I concocted a few years ago. So I think we should get uh, going and explain to anyone wondering, why is there candy on this Halloween overlay? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Well, of course, it's candy. It's Halloween, but this is a little, little fluffy. So mm -hmm. our story is going to begin in a swamp, a little ways outside a settlement called Swamp Settle, down on the East Coast. And the swamp is known for having lizard folk, above ground kobolds, and a lot of other nasties. But one legend every year seems to pull a few curious adventurers out of the woodworks and brings them to the swamp despite how creepy it can get after dark. And that tonight has pulled five individuals coming seeking treasure of gold and items and one special rumored magical stone that can grant one wish hidden somewhere in the mansion itself. So as <clears throat> the camera pans in on this swamp with full moon giving enough light for people to see faintly, though still torches needed for those who don't have dark vision. And the only one else in the swamp right now, at the site where the maps are marked, is a small hut with an old orc hunched over a large cauldron, stirring a pot of stew that, even from a distance, you can smell. It smells really, really good. So... First uh, to the scene is an elf 
walking up. This is Tiberius. So, please, Tiberius, tell us a little something about yourself. Uh, Tiberius is a, a wood elf. Um, he has a longbow strapped on his back and a few assorted weapons, uh, mostly short swords. Um, he's decently armored uh, and looks very serious. Very serious brooding sort of fellow. And next, not, uh, not too far behind, coming from a different direction, a different path in the woods, come two people walk, stepping out. Uh, that would be Felicity and Artemis together. You want to go first, TK? You can go ahead, CA, because, you know, I I'm a gentleman. I'm going to make sure that you get there safe first. <laughs> um, so I am a half-elf, uh, and I picture my character being a lot like Morticia Adams, uh, wearing all the black, long hair, uh, very serious, um, kind of, you know, a little bit seductive at times. Um a very secretive type of character uh, doesn't like to reveal a lot of information if it doesn't uh, need to be said. So I'm excited about that. And I am playing uh, Artemis Brahm. I'm a human who, when you look at, you're kind of looking like, why does he have so many weapons on him? Where does he store them all? <laughs> but he's very much a, a charming personality. He's make sure that those who take care of him are taken care of and knows that uh, I work for the Thieves Guild and have been sent here on a special mission. So, <clears throat> approaching Bash. from the from a, yet another direction comes a fiery-haired human, Jacinth. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, fiery red-haired human, um, very tall, slender, um, probably visible in the flicker of the, of the firelight and torchlight would be some faint scales around the side of her face, um, probably wearing um, a cloak covering her shoulders with the hood pulled up, just kind of, you know, maybe being a little discreet, very quiet. Um, and not a very intimidating looking character, um, but very, very curious looking. And uh, just moments later, clunking their way through the muck comes a large <laughs> half orc, Bron. That's, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so the bulky sort of form that you see sort of coming sort of boulder shouldered through the mists, through the swamp, there's sort of shoots and fountains of these sort of bamboo all over where he is. He's sort of pushing his way through. You sort of see this sort of like hunched sort of like a uh, large sort of dark gray mud spattered trench coat that's sort of pushing its way through the reeds. And as he sort of comes out, you see that he's wearing these very sort of thick mud encrusted Doc Martens. He, you notice that he has like this sort of shirt of chain mail sort of underneath his sort of uh, a coat. Uh, and you guys see that he has this asymmetrical sort of haircut of this shock of like dark hair that's sort of jagged going down one side of his face. He has grayish skin and tusks that are sort of pointing sort of peeking out above his sort of lip. Again, he's quite large and bulky. You see that he as well is uh, uh, sort of has this tabard perhaps that's sort of blocking uh, parts uh, of, of his shirt. Um, and you see that he has two large weapons on his back, a maul and a, a great sword it looks like, as well as a quiver of javelins that sort of stands in the middle of them, forming this sort of X as it were. Uh, and uh, he just comes in and he's smoking this sort of what looks like doobie or something like that. And he sort of s s blows out the rest of smoke and throws it on the ground and says, what's up? And sort of like moves forward. Wow. As you oh all God. gather in the center here, the old hunched orc stands up and goes, well, I guess that's going to be all of you. Heard that one coming a mile away. Swamps are silent now. 
and the time draws close. Would you like a last meal before the fun begins? I Very. would. Ah. Yes, please. Excellent. Not it many take me up in the supper. Smells delicious, Elder One. Only the best ah. lizard folk go into my pot. I'll uh, pass. I'm trying to watch my cholesterol. That tastes just like chicken folk. So they take out these wooden bowls, scoop, just barehanded scoop in and pull up this creamy sauce with huge chunks of meat and swamp tubers and passes it around. Eat, eat. You'll need your strength. This is possibly the last meal you'll get depending on what you see inside. So I nope. stick my finger in it and then I, I just eat it. Actually, it's quite good. Tastes quite good. I use my fingers and drop, drop the big part. <laughs> it's like it's very handy. <laughs> it slithers all the way down. Yeah, I take the bowl and just start <laughs> like just slurping the broth uh, and then sort of, yeah, like scooping sort of uh, uh, shovel meat. <laughs> you will I like mind. this one's manners. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I uh, sort of uh, say uh, in draconic, that's a spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> so, five brave souls have decided this will be the year they try. Many have come, few make it out. But enough to spread rumors to make it interesting and make my. Uh, my imprisonment worth living for, seeing all your lovely faces. So, a little bit before you head in, I like to give a warning. It keeps things interesting when some information is known and some is kept secret. No one has ever told me that made it out that they saw the same thing. In some years, it was a dilapidated old mansion, sometimes a palace made of more marble and opalescent pearls everywhere, beautiful blue sky. Once, the strangest, everything was made of cheese. <laughs> and which one I'm hoping for? <laughs> oh. Were they sober when they went in? <laughs> I sure hope not. What would be the fun in that? Many of them come in, some with a death wish, hoping perhaps they make it out alive, finding new meaning in the wish that can be granted by the stone. And there is only one wish to be earned, so I do hope to see more than one of you make it out. Just for my own information, hearing the stories of what's transpired behind there is different every year. It makes things Interesting to tell the next though, of those who try. But the time is upon us. The sun is go set and the moon is high. You will have eight hours. And when the sun starts to rise, the mansion will vanish. And all who are inside will become a part of it. You can leave at any time. Some have made it out ten minutes screaming. Some have made it out after two hours saying they found enough treasure to know that you're not bound to be in there. But where's the fun in leaving early? And with that, a shimmer across the swamp mist. And you see, now in this new glow, the foundation of what used to be a house fence, uh, just now crumbled boulders covered in moss. But with the shimmering, the fences seem to rise and reconstruct themselves. And in the mist, you can see behind it the faint outline of a mansion. And the gates <laughs> open. And the orc just steps into their hut. Now what do you do? Well, like home. no time than the present. I guess we should uh, head on in. Seems like a very time-sensitive uh, 
I'm already Instant. on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna follow the tall, dark, mysterious one. <laughs> so who will be the first through the gates? Me. I'd like to go first. Ooh. Okay. When Felicity steps forward to go first, like, uh, let me go first. Might need your expertise later. I give him an evil eye. <laughs> And I ignore him and continue walking. <laughs> Think I'm not. And as you enter, as you start to enter, you feel almost like you're trying to push your way through a wall of water. And everything around you starts to sparkle, shimmer, and then start in tr- swirling black as all the color is drained out of your vision momentarily. And as you pass through, the others see you disappear. Who is next? I'll follow up behind, muttering, told you sure I should have gone first. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tiberius see- will also confidently stride oh. forward. Okay. As yes. Tiberius goes through, instead of blackening as the other two, your color brightens momentarily and then switches to shadow. And Felicity, you're, you are... Just waiting, and then you you suddenly see your companion pop out of existence behind you, followed shortly after by the wood elf, Jacinth and Braun. <laughs> yes, I will. Um, are you just you're popping? Yeah, your way I, I was watching the others sort of to pass through, and I seem more a little bit more focused on the 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 woman uh, who had gone into the hut. Is she closing her door, or what's the deal there? Is there can you go in the hut? Is it just open? What, what's what's the deal? The, the hut does the same thing as the mansion and shimmers out of existence. Is the soup still there? The, the stew pot is still there. Cool. I'm going to get a second helping and then I'm going to go to the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So popping out behind everyone else is Jacinth holding a bowl. Uh, I, I sort of kneel down and place my big sort of a large palm uh, where the hut was. Uh, and and tone and orcish um, uh, uh, your guidance pleases the ancient ones elder and I sort of get up and put that sort of to my forehead as I then walk through as well so Bron appears having passed through the same glimmering shadow with a muddy palm print on his forehead (laughs) so just synth Bron and Artemis which you see upon stepping out is this house that just seems like it's been in disrepair for decades. The walls are made of stone that have been weeping and bleeding their iron and stained with rust. Creeper vines with long dead leaves work their way up the sides to the windows. The doorway seems to actually be forged out of cast black cast iron with demonic visages and statues of gargoyles line this courtyard path leading up towards the front doors. To either side, you see what looks to be a thorny hedge mage with a gargoyle sticking up from the center of each one. Felicity and Tiberius, you see the most magnificent gingerbread house you've ever <laughs> even thought of the there's royal icing decorations reaching up the side like vines candy canes create the pillars on the front of the mansion the sky is blue not dark as you had expected with cotton candy pink and blue floating in the sky like clouds and to your left and right you see what seems to be these cookie cutouts of trees and in the center of each sticking above is a chocolate fountain coming out of the top of a hot fudge sundae <laughs> and statues of gummy bears line the the courtway towards the door how garish i think we had way too much of that soup earlier what a lovely summer home. I'm thinking uh, we could go in, 
we could check out that uh, maze over there. I mean, there has to be a hidden entrance in a place like this. Front door might be trapped. I do love mazes. Not many people return. <laughs> How about Artemis, uh, with that suggestion, or anyone who wants to take a look, just roll me a perception check. Where's the roll of the day? And let me check my sheet here one sec. Yeah. I got a 12. Perception. Perception. Uh, natural 20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a uh, 17. Yeah. See the end of the maze. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it just straightens out before you. Well, I so, don't get out of that. Left and right. So Felicity, <laughs> to your right, you see sticking out of the Sunday an oversized uh, gold foiled covered key just plunged in there as a decoration sticking out of the sunday at the center of the maze hmm. but artemis to your left you see a gargoyle brandishing an oversized terrible horrifying looking sword but with a key at the end of it as a blade well well we should go to get that key hey um orc person you want to go get that for me what key? I, I I don't see anything, my friend. Uh, and and I am Braun. You can uh, call Br me that. Braun, my friend. I'd like you to walk forward a bit. About how far is it from us? <laughs> so as uh, as Artemis is pointing out the the direction of the key, uh, Felicity and Tiberius, you do not see a key sticking out of that Sunday. You see do it. I? Yes. Yes, Braun. You see the key oh, in the gargoyle's hands. How far away is it? The maze itself doesn't seem... It seems to be the center of the maze if you were just to walk a straight line. It would only be about 20 feet from where you're standing, though you don't know how the maze winds. Can I use Mage Hand to try to pick the key up? From what you can see of the key in the gargoyle's hands, it's definitely too heavy for Mage Hand. Oh, dang. What about the one in the Sunday? The one in the Sunday is... It looks like it's about two feet mm. long. It's a very large key. And you can see from the door, the gingerbread door with the happy gingerbread man dancing on it, there is a keyhole that looks big enough for someone to even put their whole fist into. If you ever wanted to fist a gingerbread door. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know what I was going to wish for? How did you know? D doesn't everybody? Well, that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need the wishing stone. <laughs> <laughs> Wish fulfilled. So the the three of you who are seeing the darkness can notice Felicity looking in the direction of the what to you looks like a gargoyle not holding a key. I'm gonna go to Felicity. What 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 are you looking at? I. It's a gargoyle, and they're fascinating, but the key's the other way that I think we need. Not question my perception. <laughs> Not with a natural 20. <laughs> Not questioning him. I'm just wondering what you would see that I don't see. And is it shiny and able to fit into a pouch? That's a more important question. I just really like ice cream sundaes. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, does Tiberius also see this key, I assume? Tiberius sees the key okay. sticking out of the Sunday, and as you if you want a little easier frame of reference, if you're looking at the overlay on Twitch, you'll see your position in the chaos. Hmm. Oh, I see what's happening. So the so to again to reiterate to the right of the entrance as you're as you're all looking north, you would be seeing the the candy people would be seeing the Sunday with the key, a large key looking but from from the handle is pretty large. But off to the the left for the people who are seeing the darkness, there's you're seeing the gargoyle brandishing this key that so, very unmistakably a key. Well so what, what do you think the key is for, friend Artemis? I think 
might go to that big door there. I I'll open the door and I just move towards the door. I'm going to take a few steps back. <laughs> like, I believe in you, friend Bron. As I look for cover. <laughs> as Bron walks towards the door, the statues of these menacing gargoyles just loom over you, casting shadows, even though no immediate light source is there. It seems to be there's just a light that that it makes it easy enough to see for anyone without low light vision, but with as a orc or half orc you're seeing things a little more clearly and none of them seem to be moving and the doors stand before you with angry demonic faces and blood sacrifices etched into it, just rising about twenty feet off from top to bottom. Can I or can I not fist these doors? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a strength check. And we'll see what that happens. Just, that's just a question. That's just a point of order. That is a point of order question. It's important. I want to know. I think uh, we all want to know at this point. Exactly. Uh, further to that, uh, does it look like these doors are locked or trapped? I am happy to investigate them. All right. Go ahead and, and investigate to the best of your ability. I got a 14. Oh, dang. From looking around, following the, the hideous faces and looking in the hole that is indeed big enough to put your gauntlet into, if, as you're brave or high enough to try, you <laughs> reach in and you, you're feeling around, and as you're reaching, something pricks your finger and you take two points of damage, just a little crushing sensation, and you hear in your head, uh, uh, uh. I would like to make my way towards the maze. I'd like to examine my key a little closer. Tiberius will uh, follow her. Okay, the key is about... A, if you walk up to the edge of the mage, the, the gingerbread maze with the with the pine trees and the frosting creating branching vines you can see there is a li there are licorice whips creating a lattice making it impossible just to walk directly through it and from your key you can see that uh the the key itself just you can see the handle sticking out of it but not much more more detail than what you already got with your natural 20. i'm gonna try to pull out the key the key but, is in the middle of the maze. Oh, in the middle of the maze. Okay, so I can see the distance. Okay, so then we go in the maze. Okay. So as you enter, give me a wisdom save. Oh. Tiberius is following her, I think. Okay. Uh, so it's an 11. Okay. So a lemon? You, that is a lemon. As you, <laughs> you feel the overwhelming urge to stop what you're doing and just start eating the licorice the the frosting it just it looks so so good and so you're standing in the entrance and a, completely against your will you reach forward and just start groping hand, frosting groping frosting and oh yeah and just Tiberius, you just it. you just see her <laughs> chowing down on this frosting, oh, while the so others good. you see you see That's Felicity frosting. grabbing handfuls of thorns and dead leaves and oh, raking oh, them no. into her mouth, and she, she doesn't seem to be getting any negative effect from it except that she <laughs> she's can't. As fuck. <laughs> I'm so scared of her. <laughs> I, I'm gonna like Felicity, although like I, I I approve of I your. I approve your methods of intimidation. Mm. I, I feel this might be a little bit much. Ah, oh, that's so good. <laughs> I I respect uh, <laughs> what you're doing, <laughs> but uh, I'll just take the key off uh, the, the handle and we'll, we'll go from the sword. Don't worry. And I will move over to the gargoyle with the key sticking out of its sword. That's the that's at the center of the right maze I'm, of the left maze. I'm, I'm, I'm going, gonna go into the maze. I'm gonna. I also go into the maze. Follow up with the maze, like okay. Before we step in, I want to check for traps. 
as I'm like raking my face <laughs> with vineage. And it looks like you're not receiving any damage, Felicity. You are, you're just, you're still gorging your face and Tiberius, you're, I, I don't know Goring if you're it. following in or if you're just staring <laughs> in awe at this. Watching for now. And the rest of you, uh, if you take a glance over your shoulder, it does look like there is blood dripping down from her mouth, though she doesn't stop. And okay. One of the leaves from the hedge and put it in my mouth while I look at her. Like, is it really that good? It is. It's so good. Uh, I have um, I have concerns for friend Felicity. So why don't you two go into the maze, and I will I, I will console her. And by that, I mean I'm going to run over and uh, try using a persuasion check to get her to stop. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good luck, my friend. We'll do that, and then we'll move on to the other maze. Uh, 19. 19 is enough. You manage to just shake her out of it, and Felicity, you start realizing that you've you've stopped what you had intended to be doing, and you've just been stuffing your face with the most delicious <laughs> buttercream frosting. <laughs> but you're getting strange looks from your companions. Like that, that I don't know why you were eating the foliage. I, I approve of this intimidation technique, but maybe save that for <laughs> when we're in the house. <laughs> I guess you're more fondant people. <laughs> I, I, I'm, fondant not people. Sure, I'm not sure what kind of uh, tree that is, but um, I prefer meat. It's related to the juniper, I think. As we start walking, we just start like taking foliage along the way and like like scarfing it and putting it like in my cleavage and like holding on to it. She's got thorns <laughs> down her, down between her creases. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So moving to the to the left maze where Braun and Jacinth have just marched on wholeheartedly. Uh, give me some dexterity checks as the oh, dang. the wrapped up vines start reaching out and trying to close in the gaps a little bit. Not too far, but just, I want to see how careful you're being inside this maze. Thirteen. What about Braun? Uh, I'm making what kind of check? Acrobatics, you asked for? Uh, just, a, just a dexterity, uh, dexterity saves. Oh, dexterity save. I got a seven. Okay, so those... They're they're reaching out for you, Jacinth, and you're just managing to stay out of the way. They're gra grasping at your clothing, and you're getting a little caught up. Little burrs are catching in, but Braun, those thorns, little thorny hands, and your broadness, you're having some trouble keeping out of the way, and you do feel a few reach in and dig under, and it's causing things to be very uncomfortable in some places you really don't want to be uncomfortable. <laughs> I, brutal. I am. I'm. I know. I'm pretty girthy. I'm large, so it's tough. Oh. But, but Brian, I'm, I'm going to scream at you. Be careful of the vines. People eat them. <laughs> but that uh, is. I, I would try uh, uh, and sort of force my way through if I can. But if not, I'll back away. Oh, it's. They're not impeding you, but they're reaching out and grabbing you, and uh, it's taking that as your general caution as you move your way through this. This spiraling maze. Uh, give me a. Both of you, give me an intelligence check just for how well you're managing to figure out left or right. And ah! well, got... it's a natural twenty on the floor. Does it count? It does. <laughs> Please. I count that. I mean... I'll reroll it if you want. You give it. A, give it another reroll. Let's. Ah. Uh... 17 plus 320. That's not bad. I, yeah, so uh, I got uh, not that. Uh, so <laughs> Bra Braun uh, got an eight. Uh, Braun is sort of following uh, uh, Jacinth and Jacintha and, uh, and uh, sort of like sort of trying to keep her fiery hair sort of in view. Um, and uh, as this is not working out for him, uh, he sort of is calling out um, um, uh, scaled one. He calls out uh, in draconic uh, scaled one, scaled one. Can, do you understand what I'm saying? Don't leave me. Yeah. Uh, and I'll pop up and like <laughs> flag him. <laughs> so she has gotten quite a bit of a ways ahead of you as you're being impeded. 
But following her, using her as your example, you only take uh, six damage from the thorns for your entire journey through, while she just deftly <laughs> shimmies and skirts and dances her way through. I'm just, like, sitting there waiting <laughs> for him. Just gonna... <laughs> you're, doing the, you're doing the sonic <laughs> foot tap. <laughs> Do I so, hear them? Are they close enough that I can hear them speaking? Sh- well, I don't know if... Oh, oh, I'm sure you can hear them, well... With Braun having to, if she's moving so much further ahead, he's probably has to raise his voice a bit. Definitely. I'm going to scream back at, back at Braun. Don't lose people. It's not good for your health. Who said that? I'm going to start feeding Artemis <laughs> frosting. What, um, before so we get to that, good. Tiberius, did you want to do anything else with here in the Draconic? Uh, no, he's still gonna, he's gonna enter the maze and follow okay. Felicity and Artemis. I'll have you give me the wisdom, uh, you and Artemis, if you guys are both heading in, give me the wisdom save. Hey. Ooh, 21. Nice. Thank you. Actually, no, not for Artemis. No wisdom save for Artemis. I'm gonna All have right. you give me, give me the deck save. <laughs> hey, deck not save? A sweet kind of a person. Okay. Uh, 14. Okay. So you are able to skirt as the thorns are reaching out and getting you, and Tiberius, you're not really seeing what the big fuss is. It doesn't smell that good. I mean, it, it's <laughs> sweets and all that, but you just don't see the, the desire. So, but uh, Felicity, you are able to to manage your urges to, uh, and if you want to, because this is really, really good buttercream and gingerbread. <laughs> and, but you are trying to shove piles of leaves and thorns into Artemis's face to share the love. <laughs> Tiberius is going to hang back a bit and uh, <laughs> try, like, follow them, but also try to figure out how best to get to the center, and if he thinks that they're about to go the wrong direction, he'll call out. Okay, anyone who wants can give me an intelligence check if you are trying to navigate their way through. Ugh. Not good. Not good. Yeah, that's an eight. It was an intelligence check? Yeah. Just to work out the logic of a maze. Uh, 18. 18. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Unless he's like hugging a wall, he doesn't know how to do mazes. Hmm. Well, this isn't your, your usual ch- terrain mazes. You're used to the, the forests and the mountains. and True. But the as other soon two as scenes... a maze changes or there's a bridge, you're you're screwed. All all the rules go out the window. <laughs> well, the other two seem to know what they're doing, so if you follow behind... I guess they do. <laughs> so you've both made it to the center of your respective mages, one standing mm. with two looking up at this beautiful sun, hot fudge sundae with, with the fudge fountaining down from a spigot on the top of it and sticking out of the ice cream is a key. The other's are standing before gargoyles. You, Artemis, do not see a key in the hands of this gargoyle, but Jacinth and Braun, this gargoyle is looking down at you, daring you to take it. Hey, so on a scale of one to ten, how do we think this guy's, like, do we think this guy's going to wake up when we touch that key? Well, thank you for uh, for helping me. I, I won't forget it. Um, uh, if the gargoyle does awake, we'll take care of it. Well, I was thinking, what if you preemptively get your big burly arms around him? That way, if he does wake up, he's already grappled, and then I'll grab the key. You think my arms are burly? And I start uh, <laughs> like climbing up the back of it. <laughs> I'm just like so strong and draconic. <laughs> this isn't that type of game. Tiberius wants to cast Find traps Ooh. on the ice cream sundae. <laughs> so words, words that'll never be Don't said be in any other game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so casting find traps and something about this, about the the wraparound of the key on the sundae does glow. Ooh. So... Who is going to be the first to try and take their key? I will wrap my arms around the statue of the gargoyle. Okay, give me a strength check to see how well you're holding on to this. Okay. I believe in uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I got a 17. Okay. A 16, excuse me, 16. 
Okay. So yeah. as soon as I see he's got like a, a nice lock on it, I'm going to try to just grab the key. Okay. <sighs> so as you've, as you've got your arms wrapped around this gargoyle, holding on for dear life, nothing happens. Oh, sweet mother of gods. And and being so close to its mouth, you, you brawn, do hear it go, thanks for the cuddle. <laughs> yeah, I, that surprises me, and I like let go and basically no. like, fall off, <laughs> and sort of like crash to the ground. Uh, and like, as I'm getting up, I'm just sort of muttering in orcas, saying, "This place is chatty." <laughs> I'm just curling the key. And at that, the the hands of the gargoyle clamp now that there's nothing in them, and just make themselves into fists. But okay, okay. nothing nothing comes of it. As you had figured Let's out, get out of here. On it. So, what do the candy people see me holding? Is it just nothing? <laughs> the candy people, uh, I can't see you from their their vantage point at the moment, and you're, you're ah, both out of sight. Right. So, back to the candy people, Tiberius. You've noticed that there is some sort of trap that would be triggered by pulling out this particular key from the Sunday. He doesn't say anything. He's just like, mm. I'm walking towards it. <laughs> I'm just confused like okay so we had a key on the other side um what are we looking at I mean am I, are, are we going to try stealing the gargoyle we are Battering looking at the key. be silent <laughs> gonna slowly back up and like just like take out my, my little notebook these people are crazy there <laughs> is no key <laughs> I don't even see me. So, so Felicity is walking up towards the key. And I don't think anyone's stopping me. So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I don't see what you're walking up to. <laughs> so what, what you see is her arms reaching up for what would be a key if the gargoyle was holding one. But Felicity and Tiberius, what you see is Felicity wrap her hands around the, the key and give it a tug. And with that, red vines start whipping up out of the red vines, the candy, not actual vines that are red. Keep start like whipping licorice. up. <laughs> yes. Coated in chocolate and start Whoa. whipping around. And Artemis, you see the gargoyle. It doesn't even taste good. Well, you see the gargoyle come <laughs> to life and leap at Felicity. Uh, give me initiative on you guys. Anyone, if, if you and the other maze want to roll initiative and see where you are when you hear this ruckus. Sure. 15. 15 for me also. Same for me. I'm ready for everything you said. We are all so ready. Do, 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 do. I am going to use a highlighter because highlighters are awesome in blacklight. Okay, so uh, anyone get over 20? No. No. Okay, uh... Five to nineteen. Fifteen. 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 Okay, let's let's go. Uh, who who got the highest? Eighteen, I think. Eighteen. Yep. Okay, and next. Sixteen. Sixteen for sorry, looking at mouths. Yeah. All your voices are so much for Bron. For Bron. Bron got sixteen. Two fifteens for Artemis and Tiberius. It's 15 for and me Felicity. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm 11. Look my modifier. It's like 15. Wow, we all got 15s. We're kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this this is uh, the the gargoyle didn't get that good, but still gets a it still gets a surprise round on Felicity and Artemis, but not on Tiberius. So. But the gargoyle is going to lunge for Felicity. And coming in with two cl well, two claws, this is what Artemis is seeing. Artemis is seeing Felicity getting attacked by a gargoyle with these red vines covered in chocolate are just whipping and whipping. And uh, is going to miss. So they swipe by, but Felicity is able to back away just in time as they whip. You feel the wind as they whip past your face. Uh, Such a feisty licorice. Yes. Uh, that moves it down to uh, so Jacinth and Braun. You you hear 
from you hear something coming from the other uh, a roar coming from the gargoyle where all you hear is more of a <laughs> felicity and Tiberius, this bubbling of ice cream if uh, i like jump can i see it like they're in a different part of the maze right yeah they're, well they're in a different maze itself they're on the other side of the courtyard right okay um I was like, uh, it sounds like they're getting into something over there. Should we go check it out, or should we go ahead with our key? <laughs> um, I say, well, we need to get out of the maze either way, so let's leave. All right. Everybody, follow me, and I'll. Who's everybody? Backtrack. I look around. It's just you and me here, right? Is it just you? I'm yeah, kidding. I'm pretty sure it's just you and me here. <laughs> either way, gargoyle. everybody, follow me. Yeah. <laughs> I still so, like him. Oh, the, 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 the gargoyle is secretly like, I wish I could go with you. Yeah, seriously, I'll take a gargoyle. So next comes to Tiberius. <laughs> Tiberius uh, is gonna pull out a short sword and uh, run up and try to chop some of the vines. Oh, okay. And so give me a roll. 14. 14 for this gargoyle is enough to hit. It's made of stone. It doesn't seem too... Uh, the uh, the whips don't seem awesome. like they're they're that strong, so you whip in and hit. Uh, six damage. Six damage, okay. And I get another attack, but I'm pretty sure that misses. What was it? It's only like a nine. Less than ten? Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, now Ar- Artemis, you, you've seen this gargoyle now lunge for your, your charge. I'm going to uh, pull out my short sword and go to attack it. Okay. And let's see. Nat 20. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mine was magical damage, if that matters. Yep, that's a big help. And 1d6 plus 5 for that weapon is. Eight damage total. Eight damage. All right. So now the comes uh, Felicity. You are getting attacked by these vines. They're <laughs> they're whipping chocolate everywhere, and you see almost like an ooze. This this mound of ice cream is starting to come down and try and envelope you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you welcome your fate? <laughs> <laughs> oh really <laughs> well then um, I'm going to back up a little bit um, and try to swing with my mace at the vines alright so take that swing let's do this uh, 15 15 hits yes ah, I'm so excited Uh, so it's eight. Eight, okay. Okay. So it's not looking, your you, your mace reaches in and manages to tangle up the vines that wrap around the mace, and then you give them a good yank, and out come some of the vines, where Artemis, what you see is her hit the gargoyle and rock chips go flying. So moving down the gargoyle, not being... As Artemis is seeing this, the gargoyle takes its swipes while more vines spring out of the ice cream and make their uh, lashing attacks for... Uh, Your AC is... Yeah, it's less than 17. So they take their hit, and that is 8 damage. And then another... This time, it actually reels back and fires a peanut at your face. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is also a hit for just three damage as this peanut clocks you between the eyes Ooh. and leaves a smear. And uh, moving on from there, uh, we've established the other two are trying to figure out their way out of the maze. Uh, they're working their way back using the knowledge that Got you in there, uh, Jacinth, you're able to help Ron work his way back out without getting any more thorns in his bits. And, uh, <laughs> and Tiberius, you're up again. <laughs> um, is Felicity still holding the key? Felicity is still holding the key in one hand, yes. It is. Is it in the ice cream, or does she have it out? She managed to pull it out, which tr- seemed to have triggered this attack. Um... Hmm. 
Tiberius will uh, run up, I think, while well, he's there, but will I'm trying to think of how to wear this. He want he wants to try to help her get away from the thing. Like we have the key, we don't need to be fighting it. True. So probably like go up and grab her arm assuming she's willing and and oh. try to try to disengage or or help her disengage or whatever sure if you want to use your turn to help her take a disengage action and then, <clears throat> uh i'll let you each move half your movement okay does she want to do that yeah mm-hmm. okay yeah he, that's that's what he's gonna do okay uh give me Give me a just a uh, dexterity check just to see if you can pull her, weave her around these whipping vines. Okay. Who? Nope. That's a five. <laughs> okay, so you are both now engaged with this Ooh, giant attacking yeah. ice cream sundae. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, so Artemis, you've seen, okay. you've now seen both your your allies engage this gargoyle. Right, and the, I see they're trapped in vines, correct? You you don't see the vines. You uh, what you see I just is see they're engaged with the gargoyle. Yes, every time they see the the red vines whip at them, you're seeing claws and wings taking attacks at them. Okay, I'm gonna go for the gargoyle again. All right. And that is. 17. 17 hits. Hmm. Roll my damage. Uh, 11 damage. Wow, nice. How'd you get? Wow. Okay, so you see you see him come in with his short sword and he takes a swipe and it seems really odd to, uh, to the other site as this sword just cuts its way through a chunk of ice cream and just sends <laughs> vanilla ice cream splattering and it starts to kind of melt in on itself. The ice cream is looking like it's having taking some damage where Artemis, you're, you're seeing chunks of rock being taken out of this gargoyle. I'm just wondering, is the ice cream like oozing like strawberry like topping now <laughs> oh no they're they're just seeing they're seeing just chunks of of ice cream and i really don't know how to describe it as i have never attacked ice cream with a sword <laughs> i want to do that now but they're I they're seeing the ice cream is definitely getting stirred into more of a milkshake consistency where you're <laughs> just seeing the gargoyle taking chips and chunks I was going to say, it's got like that magic chocolate shell that you're just like cracking into. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't quite got to the strawberry center yet. <laughs> it's a Tootsie Pop ice cream. <laughs> How many hits does it take to get to the center? <laughs> so that, with that, uh, moving into Felicity, as as Tiberius has tried to pull you out of the way, but the the fight of the gargoyle just get, imposes itself. Uh, the, sorry, the, the ice cream imposes itself in such a way that neither of you can get away from it at the moment. Okay. Uh, so then I guess that means I shall keep attacking then. All right. And it does look like this I, this ice cream sundae has seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so it's a 12. 12 is not enough. You, oh, you go no. for... You, I said, take, oh no. <laughs> you take a swipe with your mace, but this strange oozing Sunday just seems to suck in on itself and avoids getting getting hit. As now it is uh it is its turn. It's now have it seeing having three targets engaged with it. Pulls back its vines and goes for Tiberius, who is trying to remove its prey. In Soviet Russia, ice cream eats you. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a 17 for Tiber- on Tiberius. And Tiberius takes uh, six damage. And right. going for who the the gargoyle takes a swipe at Artemis. 
uh, because it just took a lot of damage. But as the claw comes in, just whizzes past your face as you manage to duck back out of the way. <laughs> like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to scream at it. Just let us go and everything will be okay. <laughs> So, Jacinth and Braun, as you guys, as you uh, are trying to exit the maze, you actually notice that as you walk past it with the key, the vines spread and seem to be trying to give you passage out now that their mission to prevent you from getting there has fallen flat. So, you you make it out to the back to the courtyard with no fight from these bushes that before had been trying to scrape at you. I throw the last of the burrs and the brambles that caught up in me sort of off mm -hmm. and I look at you um, and I say, we should try the door. Don't want to go investigate the sound of fighting. You look like you're, you're itching for a fight, but I trust my friend Artemis to handle it. All right, let's go. And we'll, I guess, walk to the door with the key. <laughs> okay. So back in the, in the other, on the uh, right-hand side, uh, Tiberius, it's your go, and this ice cream is looking like it's starting to melt. <laughs> the, the cherry has dripped down the side of it, the, the fudge is mixed in with the ice cream, and the bits of peanuts are now getting lost within the melt. Alright, well, I'm going to try to swing at it, but that's a nat 1 Ooh. and an 11, so... Oh, just having a terrible time. You're you're dipping into the ice cream, but it's the vines it's... are like wrapped around my arms, and I can't get like a good. Yeah, you've got, and there's just chocolate smeared all over your I'm arms, like making sli everything sticky. slipping on ice, like melted ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a good time. And then, no, no. I don't so... see any of this. I just see you guys falling over yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, the, and so they're they're slipping to your sight. They're kind of slipping on these the leaves that are littering the floor of the maze. So you take a you the gargoyle is looming over you now, Artemis. Hey, I'm going to see if I can hit it again. Okay, and that is a sixteen. A sixteen hits. Hey, I'm gonna go with my short sword again. <laughs> okay. And six damage. Oh, right. Great to hit, but damage wise. <laughs> you did 11 the last time, so. But D6 kind of hates me. <laughs> <laughs> but that is enough, and you managed to lock the, t the head off of this, this gargoyle. And the other two, you see, you see the cherry get swiped from the top <laughs> of the Sunday. <laughs> And the ice cream just goes, and see the gargoyle just crumbles into bits of rock and dust. Mm -hmm. and to say, I did not know all we had to do was take the cherry off. Uh, <laughs> is the uh, cherry still there, or the head? Or the is head it is still dust? there. The I'm head gonna is pick still it up. Okay. <laughs> so you see, you now Artemis now has a cherry to the side of the other two, but in, in, in his hands, it feels like a gargoyle head. Are you going pointy to ears, mouth yourself? wide open uh, look, resembles Willem Dafoe <laughs> smiling like um it, 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 it's rock I just wanted to you know in case I need to beat somebody I figure it's a good bludgeoning implement are oh. you proficient with gargoyle head <laughs> <laughs> well it has well, been out in the sun well for then. some time I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure uh using it as a weapon, but... Mm. So now you're standing there, Felicity holding the key, and Tiberius and Felicity covered in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, gar and to Artemis, it's, gar it's dust from the gargoyle covering them that they've been slipping in. And uh, so now, what have you decided to do at this point? Do not suppose that you're acquainted with cleaning magic. Are you looking at me? Yes. Mm. Uh, I can mend things. <laughs> that does not help. No. <laughs> can you mend a broken heart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, scream 
Just is anybody else? Are you guys still in the other maze? You know. Yeah, we slayed a mighty beast. We have our key. Cool. I did too. I'm just gonna whip the uh, head as high as I can, <laughs> as like a beacon to where we are. Give me a good strength check with that, just to <laughs> see if it doesn't hit me in the head on its way down. <laughs> Nat one. Uh. Nat one. Okay. You do that thing where you throw the basketball, but then it <laughs> hits the tip of your fingers and rolls down and just falls off your elbow. <laughs> So you've got a good follow through, but you just hear clunk. We should join the others. We've we slayed the beast of ignorance and are now boon companions. We got creamed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. Boon. So as you walk Agreed. towards the maze, the gingerbread, see the gingerbread trees that were blocking your way. Uh, move like this and create a straight way for you to go through and Artemis you just see the vines peel back creating a straight path back to the courtyard I'm just in my head thinking I wonder what they were saying all this time mm. glad I didn't eat that soup <laughs> but you do know that Bron ate the soup and I and did Jacinth. not and Tiberius did not and they, they gave it rave reviews <laughs> very delicious mostly cooked so as uh, as the party from fighting the Sunday uh, make it back you see that Jacinth and Braun have already headed towards the door with their key which to you looks like chocolate covered foil and to the others the key Felicity is carrying looks like very matches the cast iron sword like key <laughs> we have a key don't worry we also have a key. Are there two keyholes? There are. There's one on each side. Start jamming my silver foil into the, <laughs> the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you I, put it in, you give it a little turn, but nothing is happening using just the one key. I'll put our key in and give it a jiggle. <laughs> All right. So jiggling in the double stuffed door and you hear <laughs> click. And yes. the doors creep their way open. Thank you, door. And so for the... I'm just going to go by the candy team and the darkness team. <laughs> so, always starting with the... Always starting with the darkness. Just don't attack the darkness yet. The darkness... You look into the room and you just see a, old, a large foyer with, at the far end... Uh, spiral, spir half spiraling staircases leading up to a banister and balcony on the second part of the room. But the bottom floor seems to be large and mostly barren, though at the very center of the room, where a chandelier would look really good, is a, hanging ten feet above the floor, is an hourglass. And in the hourglass, you see gold coins in the bottom, and Staring at it, you see little bits of wisp of black smoke going up into the top, it creating a swirling void. And the mist, the smoke is always going up. Nothing is coming down from the top of the hourglass. Mm -hmm. The there are doors on the bottom floor where you currently are. Double doors to the left of you, and two doors, two separate doors, separated by fifteen feet on the right-hand side, and a large carpet going from the entrance to double doors at the far end of the room between the two spiraling stairs, and large pillars also made of the same black cast iron as the the front door, go, but these are large pillars. Seem, they seem to be about five feet wide going from floor to to the vaulted ceiling above you. And they glow faintly. Hmm. For the candy folk, what you see is something out of a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory's tasting room. <laughs> you are inside this glorious gingerbread. You do see the exact same uh, hourglass. It doesn't look like it's made of candy. It's gold coins, though it may be chocolate-covered gold coins. You can't really tell. 
And there is black smoke. It seems to be the darkest thing you've seen since getting to this place. And it seems very odd considering how ominous and spooky this place was supposed to be due to the legends. But there is frosting on the banisters. <gasps> the, the stairs are made of gingerbread. Different colored gumdrops create a nice decoration along the wall. Picture frames showing pictures of things like ice cream sundaes wrap around the room. And it's nice and brightly lit in this room. And it smells like a bakery. Hmm. Am I still in love with frosting? Oh, th that's no longer an impulse. I'm sure okay. even without the compulsion, you would be in love with frosting. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to roll an investigation on the room itself. Okay. See if I can see anything that would tell us where to go. And let's see, I got a 17 plus my 17 plus, so 24 in investigation. <laughs> oh, okay, so are you stepping into the room to do this investigation? Yep. Or, okay. I'm going to step into the room to do the investigation so I get a better feel of the room, going to see what I'm looking at. Okay, so with, with that rule, you do see that despite there not being any breeze here, the Car uh, part of the runway carpet by the door seems to be a little flipped. Like, this isn't just one long carpet, it's a series of carpets uh, that are that are about 15 feet long, and then it stops 15 feet long, with what used to be very nice decorations, but have since been trampled, muddied, moldy, and musty. And the third one in, about uh, 40 feet to the back of the room, seems to be it looks like it's kind of been kicked over a little bit hmm. Hmm. and that's the only thing really suspicious you see you do notice that the the double doors on the left side of the room do seem to be cracked open a little bit and a faint light comes out of that room okay i'm going to uh look back to the party like we should probably not go left right now Door is cracked. There's light coming from there. I have a feeling there's an ambush. Not that I would ever, you know, plan an ambush that way and lure people into a trap or anything. I'm going to silently cast Thaumaturgy um, to slam the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say definitely don't go into that door. No. <laughs> cursed door, cursed house. Nope. It does not want us. I believe it would be wise if we stuck together. Agreed. I feel as though we should not stand on this carpet. I'm going to step slightly to the right of the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust carpet. It just starts to just stare at it for a minute. I'm going to poke it with my <laughs> sword. Like The, the carpet oh, immediately to the entrance does not respond to your sword. So <laughs> if it did, its yes. feelings would be very hurt that you just missed it. Yeah. Yes. So we know the carpet is not a trapped carpet oh, no. that I can tell. Hmm. For now. I still don't think we should stand on it. Why don't you think we should stand on it? I'm very anti carpet. What happens <laughs> <laughs> you do not like carpets? I'll remember that. Just saying, Hello. remember the thorny bits. <laughs> I'm going to also point out the dis or the carpet that's slightly off from the rest. Like, that might be a good reason to stay off the carpet. We don't know. Maybe there's a trap under there. Or Why don't we under look door. under there? That's a fantastic idea, my friend. And I'm, I'm keeping my distance. And <laughs> the carpet up. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you go up and check that, Brian? I got. I'll, I'll stand right behind you in case you need me to stab anything or throw some oil down there. While they look at the carpet, I'm going to sneakily, stealthily go over to the door that um, I caused to shut and try to listen through it. Oh, right. Give me a perception check. Yes. And my perception is... Oh, no. Uh, eight. <laughs> okay. There, there's silence behind that door. <laughs> but it smells amazing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I go up and I rip the carpet up. 
The one that word's messed up. You go over to that one? Sure. All right. Uh, oh, no. Look. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's see. I'm going to have you roll me. <laughs> Give me a... I'm going to follow <laughs> behind Synth just in case something needs stabbed quickly. Oh, no. Okay. Give me a dexterity save. Oh. Okay. You can do this. Thirteen. <laughs> you just manage to get your hand back as the rug itself starts flapping around <laughs> like a dying fish and <laughs> reaching for you, reaching for you. It's like, shoot, no, get away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stab the rug. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you stab at the rug. <laughs> and it, uh, it lashes out for, for you, so uh, give, your, give your stab and it's going to make an attack against you as well. Okay. Uh, with my dex modifier, I got an 18 for my uh, dex, uh, for my attack. I got a 12 to attack the rug. A 12 does hit the rug. <laughs> and I'm using my long sword because I'm saving my daggers. Kill that rug. <laughs> uh, six damage to the rug. Okay, it <laughs> flinches itself back and then it... Uh, it uh, it decides it's wants it wants to move, so it actually slides <laughs> across the floor like an inchworm towards you. you just hit it. And does a uh, well, eighteen is definitely going to get you. Yeah, an eighteen will hit me. Okay, and you are considered now grappled as it wraps itself around your legs, and uh, you are you're considered trapped in the, for the moment. Okay. And uh, anyone roll initiative? Twenty. <laughs> Twenty-one for me. Eleven. Ooh. Eleven. I try, Kier. <laughs> I told you not to touch the rug. <laughs> but I didn't touch the rug. I stabbed the rug. <laughs> <laughs> it had it coming. It got I up. I told you I don't trust rugs. <laughs> 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 Bron, what'd you guys get? Carpets. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Ron got <Okay>. seven. <laughs> and Jason? Fifteen. Okay. Good. I got it. All right. And the rug is. The rug is not. You guys have all got the jump on the rug. <laughs> I would have given it away if I called it a rug and not a carpet. Mm. <laughs> I still would have touched it. Yes. They would have gotten stabbed one way well, or another. <laughs> well, to the candy people, this one looks like a very intricately wrapped up fondant. So if you're not fondant people, this is not pleasant. <laughs> but, uh,. This going first is going to be Tiberius. You see the fondant trying to wrap itself around Artemis. <laughs> hmm. Do I think that I could hurt the fondant without hurting Artemis? Can you melt the fondant? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fire would help. Hmm. <laughs> we'll stride up and say... This is not helpful. Ooh. And attack the, the fondant. <laughs> okay, attack that fondant. Okay. <laughs> that is a, a 20 something. That hits? Okay. Six damage. Okay, so as, uh, as this sword bites into the fondant, you feel it cut through into your leg, Artemis, and you take three damage. Okay. Ooh. Uh -huh. I'm just going to scream at the rug that your mother was a throw pillow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Artemis, uh, so there's, is that going to be your turn? Because it's your turn. <laughs> All right. uh, I'm going to see if I can break the grapple. Uh, with my drink, my bar. 17. Seventeen, you you managed to unwrap the the rug the carpet from your leg, and the rug just slithers back a little bit, rearing up almost cobra like, getting ready to strike again. But this time, it's facing towards Tiberius, 
and it is Jacinsko. Um, so now that it's not wrapped around anyone, I'm gonna pull out my light crossbow and I guess load it and shoot it. All nice. right. Okay. Twenty-four. That is definitely going to hit. I hope that hits a fucking rug. <laughs> Nine damage. Nine. Nice. Wow. Well done. Rolled a seven. So so now it looks like a cobra getting ready to rear back and attack, but now it has a uh, bolt sticking out, pinning <laughs> bits of it between it. Uh, and now Bad going, rug. Going to <laughs> Felicity, who's over by the door. <laughs> So you're a little bit out of battle. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be your whole turn to get over there. So you said this room was brightly lit. Is it with fire? Uh, for you, it seems to be, the light itself seems to be coming from candy glass chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a candle. I'm going to light my candle. And start making my way over to the carpet. Oh, okay. So you'll you'll start your next turn uh, within range to if you wanted to take a few steps in without being in its range. Okay. Okay. So and those the uh, the chandeliers themselves are about twenty feet above the ground. So okay. Beth by Mage wants you to swing from them, but <laughs> that, that'll be a little bit later. Mage, that's in my Monday game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, Braun. Sweet. Uh, so uh, all this crazy shit is going down right now. Um, a rug, a rug is attacking the party. Uh, <laughs> uh, my friend, um, I just love how he says it. Jacinta, <laughs> uh, was brave enough to to, to throw the rug up, uh, and now she's being attacked, and my buddy Artemis is being attacked, and he's been hurt, and I'm just like over this uh and i reach finally reach behind as i pull out my great sword you guys can see it has serrated edges on both sides it looks like it has a thick blood run all as well as these really chthonic evil looking runes all over it uh and as i pull out the great sword i just try and run at this uh rug to hack it uh, in twain getting an armor class of 21 uh, and uh, doing 10 points of damage, excuse me, 9 points of damage. I, nice. I will do my second attack as I bring my uh, greatsword around again uh, as I hit an armor class of 25, mm -hmm. uh, and I do 10 points of damage now. Nice. Sure, sure. This rug is hanging on by a thread. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> But now it's the rug's turn, the angry, frayed rug. And uh, because Braun just did the worst it could to it, uh, it's going to try and wrap around Braun. Uh, that is a natural one. Oh, I see. So stand it just it. It, it slithers over to you and just kind of caresses your boot with the little oh. tassel on the side of it. <laughs> Maybe you the you hear a little cool, whimper. Guys. Maybe the rug's cool. Ron, I think that I'm, I'm usually in the rug and carpet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't discriminate here in your rug preference. Ron, that that rug's trying to put the moves on you, my friend. Um. So uh, that's it. Goes back up to Tiberius. You see this this hanging on by the the shredded pile of fondant. No cake will ever be able to use this. I'm gonna finish it. All right. Finish it. With your mouth. No. <laughs> it is that kind of game. Can you can use a bite attack. <laughs> I would like to use my sword. Okay. Uh, that is a dirty twenty. All right, that's gonna hit it. Eight damage. And uh, how do you want to do this? I just want to put my sword down and just slice. And just cut it right in half. Okay, so with expert precision, you just slice through this nice destroyed pile of fondant. And yep. uh, that ends the battle with uh, Felicity standing over the fondant, holding the candle. <laughs> I give Tiberius like a, a nod. <laughs> so next time we encounter a rug, I got an idea. Let's torch it. 
There are many no. rugs I see here. Do you want to torch all of them? I have, a, I have my oil. Over to you, pat you on the shoulder, <laughs> and I will heal your three hit points with it. Nice. Artemis. I, I have a can of oil. I'm just saying. Maybe we, maybe we should wait till the closer to the end of the evening, because... Uh... Burning the House Down is my favorite song. Uh, and again, I heal you for three points of damage. Didn't get Thank that. you. Yeah. Um, so. Oh. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, do Tiberius and. Uh... Shit, what was your character's name again? Felicity. Felicity. Thank you. Um, I'm really bad at names. I'm sorry. Um, do they look disheveled? Uh, we still look gargoyle dusted. Look fabulous. Yeah. Do you mind if I put Can't my hands nice. on you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hold up, no better look, honestly. If you must. <laughs> Press the digitation. Oh. Uh, so uh, to the two candy people, the the ice the ice cream and the chocolate just sloughs off you in a puddle, and the rest of you just see a poof of dust. And now your compatriots are clean, except for Artemis, Maybe. who's still got some dust on him, but oh. not as much I, as the other two. I'm used <laughs> to it. Tiberius says, "I am in your debt." Just a little bit of dust. <laughs> Right. You know, it comes in my it comes in my line of work that you know dust happens. <laughs> you do the dirty work, but that's not what it called for. <laughs> so Does you're now alone, the room has fallen anyone, silent anyone again. A plan? Uh, um, well, there was that door? there was that door to the left that had lights. Uh, I thought you said don't go in that one. Right. That's yeah, the and then it slammed shut. Yeah, I don't trust that door. I'm gonna. I, I'm saying if we, that door gives us any lip, we burn that door first. Uh, we got the door to the right, though. Two doors. Two doors to the right. right, and there's an upstairs, right? Correct. I think we should go upstairs. Was there a door upstairs, or was it just the balcony? From your vantage point, uh, you can see that there is a door. Uh, if you were standing in the entrance, it would all, uh, on the balcony. It would be almost immediately up to your left, and then. Uh, two doors uh, along the right side on the other. Well, uh, there's a there's a game that we play back home. It involves <laughs> dice when you have to make a decision. I like going upstairs. That sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. I like going upstairs too. Up sounds good. Uh, the dice say we should go upstairs. Hmm. <laughs> That's convenient. The dice All don't signs lie. point up, so I will head up the right side of the staircase, avoiding any carpets. And I will go left, avoiding carpets with uh, my candle. <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> left. Okay. So moving up the stairs, nothing impedes your way. You, uh, The rest of you watch your friends walking up the stairs. So what is what's the general consensus here? Tiberius will also go up. Okay. Yeah, Braun has his rug slaying sword out so it's time and he continues to <laughs> up, the stairs, <laughs> up the middle up the middle of the stairs yeah. i'm gonna sheath my sword and pull up my daggers because it just seems like a, a good idea to have those handy in case we're running any more pesky rugs so as you're as you all reach the top of the balcony now you're more in line with this hourglass in the center and you can see that it's actually every Every minute or so, one of the gold coins poofs into black smoke and goes and joins the rest of the smoke in the upper half of the hourglass. It seems to be... It's There's very little smoke in the upper section right now, as it is still early in the night. I imagine that's the time we have left, and maybe when we finish, we get the last of it? Mm. I'm not here for the gold. I got, I got, I I got a thing I got to do. I mean, gold's nice, though. I mean, there. I'm sure there's plenty of gold in this place. Yes, I should, I should a thing probably... you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I hmm. mean, if you guys want the gold, go for. It. I got plenty myself. I think we're all doing things. Yeah. As we all look around shiftily, we all have a thing to do. <laughs> I mean, we, we all know what we're here for though. <laughs> There's this magical stone that can grant a wish. Hmm. I'm going to wish for infinite wishes. 
I I don't want the stone. Why You're are just you here, here to party? <laughs> you just like rugs? I, that's that's interesting that you would ask me why I'm here and wouldn't share why you're here. I told you why I'm here. I'm here for the stone. And I, I told you why. Then I'm not why here. is she here? Dun, dun, dun. Not for the stone. If you're working together, surely. Surely. It's full of stone. I've been contracted to make sure that she is safe. So you're not here for the safe. stone. <laughs> no, the, the stone's an added bonus, you know. It, How the word gets, has changed over time. <laughs> she gets what she wants, I get what I want. It, it, it all works out. I'm just watching so, the coins disappear one by I'm one. I'm making my way towards the door <laughs> <and> upstairs. <laughs> and which door are you making your way towards? The one There's, closest to me. Now that you're at the top of the balcony, it, directly in front of you, you can see there are also two doors spaced pretty far apart before you make around the bends. I'll go to the left door. Immediately at the top of the stairs? Yep. Mm hmm. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> so, Felicity, opening the door, you see a beautiful spread of cakes and muffins <laughs> and cupcakes <laughs> and <My God. laughs> candies. And it's all laying out for you in front of you with just on this table and I'm platters. having such a great time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to follow Felicity. There is a corpse on the table, ribs cracked open, guts dragged out of it, and just this look of absolute horror on the face of the body. Look at I'm this going, spread. It's I, so wonderful. I'm going to step in front of Felicity. Like, and this is not the um, best time to say this, but I think you might be on a sugar high, and the crash really sucks. You know, you, you don't want to eat any more of this. So and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll deception. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How many doors are on the second floor of the balcony? I got a uh, 25 on deception. Okay. <laughs> All right, do you think you can beat that? I'll answer Bond's question after. I don't think I can beat that. What, do I have to roll the same thing? It, 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 yeah, insight. To see oh. if you can tell that he's lying to you about this sugar eye. <laughs> Unless you don't want to and you just think a 25 is something you can never achieve. But, yeah, no, I don't think it's ever something I can achieve. I have a 8. You trust him implicitly. So in total, uh, all around, starting over, if we start to the uh, right and work our way around, there <clears throat> is a glass door on the right side as far away from you as it can be. There is one door, uh, there is another door on the right at about the mid area of the balcony. There, straight in the wall in front of you to the north, there is one door on the right and one door on the left. And then no doors on the wall to the left of you until you get back to the very farthest area of the balcony. And there's one uh, moldy looking wooden door. Which was just opened. These, you're on the second floor now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so these just, ones are... They just, no, the, they just they're, opened the door and... They're looking at the one that faces right? north on the left. Yeah, so... Okay. So just if you were to draw a square box... <laughs> so they're they're in the, the, the left. You said left, right, Felicity? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yeah, so there... You guys are you are all standing on the outside and hearing the little discussion. I will go and, to the moldy door. Okay. And open it. <laughs> So good, that's, follow my yeah, good description. <laughs> so you're following. I think he just wants to fist the moldy door. This is about. I want to witness. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for so perfectly <laughs> stating exactly. Perfect. And Tiberius, what are you doing? Um, Tiberius is peering over uh, Felicity's shoulder at the spread of cupcakes, mm. and going like. That does look pretty good. It does. Do we walk by? <laughs> I want to look uh, at it and just go, you guys should go eat some of that. It does look delicious. <laughs> while, while Artemis looks away, I'm going to take my finger and just kind of like lick. Like, I'm going to take my finger and kind of like rip like a rib cage because it just looks so good. <laughs> I don't know what it, what it really is. Just to me, it's like fudge. And I'm it gonna... tastes like strawberry syrup uh, and you're, mm. you're pulling it off and it it's it's on 
a hardened candy. There's a, like a cornucopia of hard candy. Tiberius, it's so good. Mm. I'm like, well, you know what's better? <laughs> <laughs> but, and <laughs> dice don't fail me now. <laughs> Not eating dead people. Nat 20. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's better? <laughs> There's this amazing place if we you know just go out this door once we leave here i'll take you to it they make the best desserts in the world mm. but first we gotta we, we got a thing we gotta do do they I have mean, buttercream uh, icing they have everything you could ever want i do love buttercream icing all right i listen to him <laughs> All right. I'm sold. <laughs> so, I was like, not 20 plus 8 on deception. So 28, I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's follow the others. Okay. So back at the uh, <clears throat> the moldy door that's down the, the left-hand side, uh, Braun opens the door to a rundown bedroom. The bed is a four-poster. The sheets are growing mushrooms, and it looks like somebody dropped a big steamer in the center of the bed. <laughs> oh, you definitely though, want to know what we see. Even though off, <laughs> even though off to the, off to the, uh, as you're looking into the room, okay. off to the right-hand side, there's a very obvious uh, blocked-off privy area. So, why there is a deuce in the middle of the bed... Somebody may have made someone angry. Maybe someone's oh, in the Oh, no, it's going to get so bad. It's going to get so real. TK, you don't have enough rolls for this, buddy? <laughs> you can only stop so much. Tell me what I see, DM. Tell me. Oh, I definitely want to know. I got to know. So I've decided the- what flavor Tiberius will go after if it appears. As... As uh, you get there, you look in the center, and the the room looks amazing. the The bed is made of of mm. mushrooms. Uh, no, no, I mean marshmallows. You got a marshmallow. <laughs> so the, the, sheet, the, the sheets are made of fondant. The mushrooms on the bed look like jelly beans. Oh. Yeah, the the four post beds are mm. candy canes, and sitting in the center of it is this plate. <laughs> of assorted chocolates you can tell by sight the the shape of them some are chocolate covered strawberries you've got your your ones that just look like bars that would be full of a maple cream and a buttercream uh, i'm gonna take Artemis, out my, you were right my flask of oil and i'm just gonna drench the fucking bed <laughs> oh what a waste i'm just gonna run and fly through the air with my arms open <laughs> right on top of the bed. Okay, so now Felicity is covered in oil as Artemis is pouring oil on this bed. Careful around fire. I'm, I'm going to assume that you put your candle is, is, in. Was this your mission here? Was this what you were supposed to do? No, I'm a bodyguard. We and... have found a bed. I, I don't. I, I don't. You're doing very well. I'm a bodyguard, and I'm having a really hard time guarding the body I'm supposed to be guarding. <laughs> Because apparently she has Fika. Uh, <laughs> I think that really seems, is- <laughs> seems you're guarding the body from dry skin. We'll pick up a mushroom and see. Okay, but your pickup is a, it's a jelly bean. Uh, you, you, I mean, it's got the hint of oil to it, but yeah, it might still be good. I'm going to say you ruined it and I'll throw it at Artemis. <laughs> a little what mushroom is- dinks off your... <laughs> uh, I, I'm. Uh, I, I'm gonna try picking up uh, Felicity, and I'm just lathering myself in it. <laughs> uh, I got a uh, like. I'm all a, about it. So eighteen uh, plus one on my strength check, so nineteen. Uh, still weren't. She still jumped on the bed, and she is rolling <laughs> yeah. around on the deuce. The oil Having covered. Having a great time. Yeah, shit flambe. <laughs> and she's just uh, rubbing herself with chocolate and, and fondant. and She reeks right now to the rest of the <laughs> lean, up, lean over to Bron and go, is she still trying to intimidate us? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel anymore. I, I think this may be some sort of half-elven mating ritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
Whew. Hey, whatever so, you're into, you know, is, that's fine. I didn't say it was bad. <laughs> As I said, for the rest of the room, there is a uh, there is a privy chamber off to the side. Uh, a small uh, carpet and a smashed chair sit in the corner. This seems like it would have been a very fancy suite a uh, hundred years ago if it hadn't been left to rain and mold. I stab the carpet. <laughs> you stab the carpet and it does not respond. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> uh i'm gonna say uh you know we uh, i'm gonna figure out a way to move uh, felicity off the bed and like all right we have to Artemis, go to another room. bathe with me in the fondant <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm gonna so try to bring him in there make a persuasion me. check on him come oh, on get him to do it. <laughs> let me do it this is fabulous everyone uh, uh, 15. Oh. Right. And what would I have to roll against that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you want to do it? No. Uh, don't you no. want to roll? This is, I mean, you see me? what this is. It would have, it would be, you know. It would be like trying to convince someone to that it would be okay to jump off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> she sounds convincing. You believe that she believes that it's a good idea. It is pretty good. Uh, Uh, I got a 18. That's <laughs> on my like, charisma alone. Just rolled a, nice. a, a total of 20 because I had plus. I was like, I'm just going to do a straight charisma check. So 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, you know, she's convincing. You you are convinced that she wants you to join her in this pile of crap and mold. But, <laughs> but you're, you've got your senses about you. You see that it is crap and mold. And she smells like she could catch fire and it would be like. <laughs> Uh, like that bag of crap you lay on someone's front porch and light it on fire. I'm going to try an intimidation check of uh, 24. I I'm going to grab Felicity by the shoulder like, listen, you have a thing you're here to do. I'm here to protect you. You should listen to me now and not roll around in this bed. It's bad for your health. The oil will ruin your hair. <laughs> So with, with a roll like that, you think he just threatened you with that oil and the, and the potential for fire. I'm going to cast thermaturgy again uh, and make my eyes like a bright red. He's You're still intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still angry. <laughs> Tiberius is getting a little antsy and frustrated and is actually going to use his primeval awareness. Ooh. Just on everyone in the room. And within a mile, apparently. What does that do? Uh, I sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile. I think you have to pick which one. Yeah. Which one are you looking for? I do? Sense? Yeah. Really? Okay. Is it, I didn't know that. Does I thought it say it pick them. One? No, I it just says sense whether any are present. Oh. We cool. are... You do get a blip. One of them is very muddy, and mm. it's it's in the room with you, but it's very hard to pinpoint. But there is, there there seems to be something here muddying up your senses. But you do feel that within this house there are a few of those. One of them, one of them within twenty feet of you. One of them within seventy feet of you. Mm. And. There's then it gets muddy past that point. Like something is blocking that sense, but not quite all the way. Okay. Um, Tiberius is gonna go as, as this as they're like arguing with each other and all red eyes and intimidating and stuff. Uh, is gonna go right up to. Great, not uh, Scythe. What was your name? Uh, Jacintha. Yes. Someone said synth earlier. Synth. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, okay. He's going to go right up to synth. Like, right up, like. So, uh. You part dragon? You got some dragon scales? What's that about? Long, long time ago. Someone <laughs> fucked a dragon. Now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, well. You want to. You... 
I appreciate that cleaning thing you did earlier. No problem. I'm going to slowly right. back out of the room and I'm going to go check out the glass door. <laughs> it is not it breaking is. eye contact. Okay. I'll, the glass I'll door is since. far I'll away, so it's going to take you a little while to get there. I will follow since. Great. <laughs> is Felicity going to stay with Artemis in the room of delightful oil soaked delights and poop? <laughs> uh, that would be fondant. Um, we are going to follow. We'll go together. Okay. Tiberius, do you do you want to stay in this room for any reasons, or are you following? No, as well? I'm. I'm. If if every if everybody's leaving, I'm leaving too. Okay. Cool. So um, making your way back, there. Uh, who would be the most as a tracker? Uh, just spatial awareness, Tiberius. Give me a give me a roll as you're walking. Uh, intelligence. Well, I'm not good at that, but... Oh, that's fantastic. That's a one. Okay. Oh, no. So, no. So as you're no. going, uh, oh, yeah. with your awareness, as you walk forward, you feel a little bit off to the... There's a, a kind of an aberrant sense coming from the... other From around the wall as you're walking on your left, where there's no door, you feel there's something on the other side of that wall. But you can't quite put your finger on it. But it's it's definitely a much longer wall than the tiny uh, master bedroom, and something's hanging you from the other side. Okay. Uh, I will say to the group, uh, I believe there is a secret room behind this wall, and what? something dangerous lies within. What? <laughs> Well, let's go through it. <laughs> you want to punch a hole in it, don't you? Uh, I could do that. Uh, I don't want to watch you punch a hole in it. You do? Yeah, we kind of do. I feel like it's your time. To punch holes in walls? It's your time. You've been waiting for it. I searched the door, the wall for secret doors. All right, give me an investigation. <laughs> yes! Woo! <laughs> <I will. laughs> well, I got a 15. Sorry about that. The cops were ringing my doorbell. Quick oh. before the voice of reason comes back. <laughs> You're not able to find any anything along the wall. It just seems I like it's smooth. I punched the wall. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Give me a strength check. Yeah. All right. Break the wall! <laughs> Budget! Uh, I got a 19. <laughs> a 19? You managed yeah. to make a good dent in the wall like uh, when you get home and you're just angry and you punch the wall and there, there's cracks forming in the plaster and it has those bits of wood behind it uh just are you still uh Synth, are you still heading towards the glass door or are you standing back to watch braun punch a wall i'm 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 looking over my shoulder as he's doing it just like admiring just the, <laughs> the tenacity but yeah i'm still heading to the glass door okay so I'll get back to Braun and anyone sticking around watching him punch a wall. So anyone is anyone following Sin? Not right now. Okay. No, but I want to cast Charm Person on Artemis sneakily. Oh right, if you're gonna sneakily do that, uh, <laughs> save that save and throw. Uh it says fourteen wisdom. Eighteen. You could do it. Twelve. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So she's behind you, casts a spell on you, and uh, synth. As you make, as you finally make it to the this <laughs> smashed glass door, the the wood it it kind of crumbles. Glass shatters down around your feet as you pull the doors open, and you're on a balcony overlooking the courtyard that you entered. And as you as you step out into it, it's it's barren, it's flat, there's nothing there except a few uh, plants that have been dead and unattended for a long time that have dried up. Do you step out um, on the balcony? Uh, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> not today, murder house! 
I really do feel like we're we're in the murder house uh, in Barovia right now. Waiting <laughs> <laughs> for like some dead kids to pop out. <laughs> oh, that's that's what I'm expecting in the room with the bed. <laughs> right. Where's the tiny coffin in the basement? Yep. Okay, so Bron, are you gonna try and punch through the wall again? Uh, well, I look uh, over to my friends. Uh, yes, we're cheering for you in the back. Yes. Punch it! Uh, punch that wall! Punch, punch that wall! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come back in and start chanting with them. Okay. Punch um, it! I'm getting such, an, I'm getting such an uh, aid. Do I get advantage on this? Yeah. Uh, do we have a bard? I'll give you inspiration for that. Just your standard out of D6 for the cheering. You we feel comfortable. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, then that is an 11. <laughs> so this time you you punch it and but your finger's just in the wrong place yeah. and you, you feel your knuckle bend in a way that it shouldn't. Oh, no. So what started off strong, you hit again and I you think you hit a stud this time. Ooh. I don't think there's a secret door behind this wall. Tiberius. <laughs> I think Tiberius just wanted to see you punch a wall, bud. <laughs> Perhaps there is a secret door in one of the adjacent rooms. We All probably right. should check that first. Let's look. We probably should check that first. Let's look. So the only adjacent room to that, well, there's the room with the body splayed out on the table, and there's the now oil-soaked master bedroom. <laughs> Let us go back into the <laughs> whose fault was that? <laughs> and I'll go. And I'll open a door we haven't opened. The, the yeah. one next to the feast room. Okay. Next will you will door. you see uh, <clears throat> the room that had the body? Uh, was on the left now when you open the one on the right you see decayed body uh, decayed heads of many animals just mounted on the walls as if a very inexperienced taxidermist just severed the heads of dragon elephant uh strange beast with a third eye in the center of its head and mouth hanging agape and just strung them up and nailed them to the wall in some macabre attempt at a trophy room what kind of dragon this one, Felicity and I see. You see, <laughs> my favorite it, part. <laughs> you see, it, somebody took modeling chocolate and expertly scraped and shaved and molded the the most beautiful pink elephant head <laughs> into the wall. And this a dragon head that looks like it was made from each scale is a separately icinged cookie, sugar cookie, <laughs> uh, and the the head itself is of a blue dragon. Since this I leave this art to you, is quite impressive. I'll leave that to you it to is. stop from eating this one. <laughs> oh, I'm not stopping shit, bud. That's all you. I'm gonna back it up. <laughs> Tiberius, do you want a cookie? <laughs> it is tempting. I'm, it looks I'm, like a sugar cookie. <laughs> as I'm charmed, I really don't think I can stop them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm admiring the artwork. Like it's beautiful. It's I don't want to ruin it. Pet the dragon. Hmm. <laughs> are you gonna re- are you gonna pet the dragon or are you not gonna pet the dragon? Pluck off us. I, I want to pet the dragon. You want to pet the dragon? I do. <laughs> are you fond of dragons? <laughs> I just want to eat the cookie. <laughs> dragons killed my family. Then eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling quite intimidated and now I feel like I have to keep this whole dragon. <laughs> Avenge your family, eat the dragon! So as you, <laughs> the cookie, like, and as you like. pluck the scale off of the dragon, its mouth oh, no. opens up and a gout of flame spills into the room and you are covered in flammable oil. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. So much for you. I might be the first one to die. So who else Somebody. has stepped into the room and be honest? Oh, put me out. Put I'm me in the out. room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll me. Roll me. <laughs> Where's the So carpet? everyone give me a uh give me a yeah, dodge. Dodge out of this. Uh yeah. dexterity saving throw. Oh. Yeah, and I tried to dodge. <laughs> Am I? You're gonna, do, you're gonna do it with disadvantage, Felicity, because that thing is going uh, to. Well, I think no matter what, I'm gonna be on fire, but <laughs> maybe not as bad. Oh no! Uh, Twenty-one. How's it? Twenty-six for me. Then that one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. C A. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so Felicity is now on fire, <laughs> and though only somehow takes uh, seven, uh, thirteen points of damage, fire damage. Well, a miracle. Well, even getting out of the way, uh, six points to Tiberius and Artemis, who do not catch on fire, <laughs> but you definitely feel the singe. <laughs> I will whip off my trench cloak and put it over Felicity and try and put her trench out. Trench cloaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tiberius uh, will also try to help put Felicity out. Yeah. All right. So uh, using it, do you get her out of the room? Yeah. Um, <laughs> good. Probably a good idea. Pulling, pulling Felicity out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Wait, what does it look? Did it look like fire? <laughs> it did look like fire. But it looked okay. like it was coming from the kind of torch that would be used for a creme brulee. This is the most realistic cake ever. <laughs> what cake? That's a dragon Christine head. Would be proud. <laughs> and it's weird that it's a blue dragon head that shot flames, but whatever. I know nothing Are about you okay? dragons. But, uh... I'm still screaming because I'm on fire. Oh, I'm putting you out. <laughs> do you wish to investigate why the blue dragon headshot flames? I, I'll I'll do an investigate from outside the room. <laughs> I need something back in there. <laughs> uh, plus my investigate modified twenty. Okay, well, this doesn't seem to be. It, it does seem that it's the severed head, but it doesn't appear to you as if this head came to life. It appears more that it was rigged to trigger an actual flamethrower trap but nobody checked traps before entering the room. <laughs> Why would we check for traps? Oh, no <laughs> one's investigating either. No. I mean, no, we're, we're just having a great time. We, we, we <laughs> investigated <laughs> everything else. But if you'd seen Tiberius's face and how serious she was about me eating this dragon, you wouldn't have blamed me. Okay? <laughs> I mean... Shit got real when that cookie came up. Tiberius <laughs> okay. was just, you know, go for it. I'm just there like... Because, <laughs> you know, the cleric charmed me, so... <laughs> so you're all up on the balcony and only one door is left unopened up there. No, I'm uh, not going well, through it first. Well, I'm opening I, it. Uh, let me let me check for traps before you go through. Mm. Investigate this room a bit. Maybe there's something hidden, like a, a lever or a switch. After putting out the flames on Felicity, I sort of pat her cheek and say, don't worry. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, you gained two HP. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was gonna say it's like my face is like melting into your hand. Like. You've saved her face, but the rest it's of her okay. is singed. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I got a, a twenty-three on investigate of the next room. <laughs> okay, the door does not appear to have any sort of traps associated with it, and opens inward. Tiberius is gonna kind of hang back and and sidle up to Brom. Brom, right? Yep. Half forward. Yeah. So, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> cool. How How's your family? My family? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Got any family? Are, they're, they're, I mean, we don't stay in a lot of touch. Works are weird. Understandable. My yeah. family was killed by a dragon. You like I heard. Dragon? I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds terrible. I I know how to speak the language of dragons. Uh, as do I. Oh. Yeah. I learned or, it killing dragons. Did you know? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> well, dragons, uh, dragons aren't that great, though. Not great. Personally, I think dragons are kind of pathetic. They suck. Yeah, they they you know are weird. They're weird. Yeah. They're weird. <laughs> Not yeah, always weird. good weird. That's What's up I, with those scales anyway? <laughs> oh, since. <laughs> I didn't see you standing there. <laughs> I'm going to so, go up to Synth and be like, hey, you know that spell you used earlier? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. You could um, uh, use that? Press the digitation! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I and now you look a little less like, charred. My hand off. <laughs> Yeah, I've used that quite a few times in this game. I'm gonna take out my disguise <laughs> kit and be like, yeah. "Yeah, this this will cover up the burns." And um, <laughs> hmm. would you, you know, would you like me to? to... I mean, 
Prestidigitation. <laughs> it's like right on the forehead. <laughs> so, bringing it back, you've discovered this door is not trapped. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through the door. Okay, you walk in, and it is a moldy old library. The smell of dusty, <laughs> musty old books. Uh, some of the books seem to be molded over. Um, how much do you want to look around this room? Uh, are, can, are any of the books looking at a place like they've been moved recently? Kind of like a, a hidden door might be behind one of them. Give me that investigation. 25. Okay, like so you all see Artemis wander and... into the room. so you actually find three things with that role Uh, as you're looking through the first thing you find is one book seems like it's not damaged by time and actually it's the only book on a shelf where all the other books around it seem to be charred and burned hmm Secondly, you find a corpse in the corner, wrapped up in a ball, curled up in a ball, wearing a, a leather duster, and a and a scroll sticking out of his pocket. And this body looks like it's just holding his hands up, trying to make himself as small as possible. And with that roll, you also do find along the northern wall a secret door. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, going to mosey on over, take the scroll. <laughs> oh no this is not good and uh i want to read it okay are you going to uh, read it out loud or are you going no, to no you're not yes <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <God. no. laughs> i'm not that smart Scroll of plane shifting <laughs> all right i'm keeping my distance <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah get to your twitter i'm going to send this to you on twitter oh, okay no. i got my twitter open twits <laughs> i have a feeling things are going to go very badly after what i do want to do next oh no don't worry i can cast press the <laughs> hmm. the the next thing i uh, uh i'd like to see about that book too the well, what do you what do you read out loud? Uh, what I read out loud is I have no idea what this scroll says. I crumple it up and throw it. <laughs> but when I pick it up, I crumple it and I try to read it. <laughs> I will enter the library. Okay. So you hear in a <clears throat> in a voice that seems like it transcends language. You just know what this voice is trying to say uh, when you touch the book. And uh, at this point, Bron, you see a book being plucked off of a shelf. And By whom? There, by Artemis. Okay. <clears throat> cool. And I, I walk in and I search the room. And knowing that Bron is a paladin, I'm like... Why do you know I'm a paladin? You heal people. Okay. That's so a big cleric. Rather, cleric, paladin, <laughs> you, you, you do the god thing and... Could be a druid. Maybe. Could be a, have, could be a bard. Much, you have too could much armor. A, could definitely be a bard. Too much armor. <laughs> Easily be a bard. So, I'm going to... Like, so, uh... I think maybe... We should, uh, you know, you should take point. You have a bigger sword than me. What do you mean? I got two puny daggers. But uh, take, over there, take, I, take I point, point to take point where? What do you? What I do point you to the secret door I saw. Like over there, there's a, there's a door. I, I mean, only, I only see a wall. What are you talking about? <laughs> Go punch the wall. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I already tried that. It doesn't work. <laughs> <clears throat> the scroll uh, that he threw away and it uncrumpled, do I see anything on it or can I make sense of it? Uh, yeah, it's written in a language you understand. And yes. and that's uh, coming to you on Twitter. I, I'm going to go over and I'm going to kick the wall where the secret door is. Okay. <laughs> it's you, you kick it and as you kick down, the top of it comes down and whacks you on the head. 
<laughs> Just doing one point of damage. Like, see? Secret door! <laughs> it exists. Sure, I'll go first. See, this is uh, why this is why you should listen to Tiberius when he says he found a secret door. <laughs> Thank you. But Tiberius couldn't reveal the secret door. Oh, it gave me the idea of secret door. So therefore secret door exists now. <laughs> Sometimes so, secret doors remain secret. Yeah. So, so do you guys want to take a like a 10 minute break, go do stuff, anything, or do you want to continue on at this moment? Uh, I'm okay to go on for another, yeah, for a little bit longer. Maybe okay. Another, check back maybe in another hour or so. Sure. Got about two hours left. Uh, I, I know CA's got stuff to do. So, uh, okay. So if you're heading out into this hallway, you see a 10 foot wide hallway that at the far back end of it uh, makes a sudden turn to the left. And there are also windows along the left hand side of this. I'll keep an eye out for traps as I am making my way down this hall. Okay, give me an uh, investigation just to see how close attention you're paying to the details. 17. Okay. You're not noticing any traps. And so if, if as you no. move forward into the room, the windows actually look into another room that you hadn't yet checked. And from your positioning, you believe it would be where the double doors at the far end of the foyer led to. And it is a extravagant ballroom with what at one point would have been mar white and black marble checkered floor. There seems to be a throne on a dais at the back. And a spread of moldy food and smashed bottles as if a party had happened and then was rapidly left. Uh, pillars fill the fill, p there are three pillars on each side of the room and destroyed tapestries hanging around various points on the walls as you're looking down into the room. I would like Tiberius would like to enter this this library. Okay. I didn't actually say that yet. And cast. Wait, no. I have a thing. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a hunter's sense. Mm. Uh, as an action, choose one creature you can see within 60 feet. You immediately learn whether the creature has any damage immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities, and what they are if the creature is not hidden from divination magic. And I would like to use that on Artemis. <laughs> Artemis. Oh, they're all He's like Artemis all of library. Yeah, narrow my eyes. Artemis, to mm -hmm. your eyes, does not seem to have any sort of immunities or vulnerabilities beyond the simple fleshy, pokey, stabby, bashy stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's one of two. <laughs> um... Yeah, while they're all doing this, I'm going to back out of the library and go down to the double doors. Ooh. I'm going to go through the uh, secret door I found because, you know, friend Bronze down there. And it's like, well, I mean, he's going down the door. Okay, what's the city up to? <laughs> I'm going to follow Synth. Okay. So I will also follow Synth, I think. I was okay. being sneaky because I thought you guys were all oh. doing that. But how sneaky were you though? Just kind of casually, like do 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 do. And do we want to like roll? Yeah, I'll, I'll roll a sneak. Yeah, <laughs> just to sneaky. see. Like I'm perception. not trying to. I mean, obviously I'm being then, shady, but I'm not trying to look shady. I'll roll perception to see if I see you. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, eight. I got an eleven. My perception is like a twenty-three. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you see me like well, with the piece of paper, uh, just kind of wandering out. So we got three going down and two going into the hallway. So, moving cautiously like along the hallway, uh, as you as you step forward, you give me a perception check uh, for the people in the hallway. Ten. Funny. 
Okay, so with the 20, you can hear the, the doors as you reach the uh, the far end of the hall. You hear the doors creaking through the windows to the ballroom as if someone is opening. And at this time, you also notice that three of your companions are missing. Huh. Do we see, like, the window that they can see us from? <laughs> okay. As you as you open up the door, you can see the the room itself is as I had described before. For the for the Candylanders, what you're seeing is the, the floor them. is white and red with veins of green through it. Candy cane pillars rise up. There are of course cake displays and a gingerbread throne at the far end, uh, with a red gumdrop on one side and a green gumdrop on the other for on the the arms of the chair, and these tapestries with cake recipes written on them surround the room. So and Felicity as... is going to start thinking this is like a dream, that this is no longer reality anymore and that she can do anything. As Artemis <laughs> looks in, he sees his uh, companions, three the three missing ones, just standing in this doorway looking around. I with... wave up into the window. <laughs> uh, hey! They're our friends. We should we should find a way to them. Is there anything in? The, are we in a room or we're in just in a hallway? You said you're in you're in a hallway with wall with doors that face interiorly. So there are doors away from here that we haven't gone through. There are uh, as you as you reach the end of the hall, it seems the very northern the back face. So if you were to go around the the left bend in the hallway, there are doors lined all along the back wall. Got I it. Said, I, go ahead. Let's see wh which door should we go through. First one. Sounds good. So I'm gonna keep... gonna check the door for traps first. <laughs> we'll Sorry. go around. We'll go around that left hand turn you're talking about and go start checking these doors out. I uh, got it. Eighteen. <laughs> okay, with the eighteen, there's no trap on this door, oh. and uh, it seems to be a large wooden door. Uh, riveted. Uh, there's a small grate in it, like a prison door, but the door itself is not locked. I, I want to slide the grate open and look through it first. <laughs> you look through, and there's a skeleton dangling from manacles on the wall. Hmm. Huh. Well, there's a dead thing in there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pull the door open. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay. You open the door and the skeleton stays a skeleton laying Do there on the all, ground. Are all the doors back here prison doors or jail doors? All the doors do seem to be pretty much the same. It and seems there, like you does found the some kind of continue for... and turn anymore or does it end? It turns again to the left, so it's like a like it arches around, wraps around this ballroom that you saw. Mm-hmm. Got it. Thank you. Hmm. I'm going to close the door. I'm like, well, <laughs> nothing in here. Where to now? <laughs> well, we're going to have to look in every room if we're going to <laughs> find the thing that you're looking for, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems about right. You don't have any other way to locate it, right? No. And you are here to find it and give it to Felicity, right? Uh, my job is to protect her until we find it. Got and then it. we have to exit. Because, you know, the house will kill us all if we don't get out of here. Yes, the house has been trying to kill us since we entered. And I've been trying to keep her from eating dead people, so... <laughs> <laughs> You did a real good job from back there, bud. <laughs> I, I thought she simply had a taste for it. <laughs> no, that, that's gnomes. That's weird, weird gnomes. Well, the, the woman who greeted us did warn us that we would see different things. True. You saw a skeleton in there, right? Yes. Okay, so we're on the same page. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess... I, just continue, and I'll just open the, the them as we go by, just looking at each of them. Okay. Uh, give me a... Give me a charisma saving throw when you open the third door. Fourteen. Give me a perception check on your end, Artemis. 
perception of perception. I got a 13 on perception. Okay. <clears throat> so you don't notice anything happen, though you do, uh, Braun, for a moment, feel a slight pull to enter the room, but you're able to shake it off. But you do see uh, in the room a, another fresh corpse uh, laying in the corner, holding a dagger in his stomach. And this seems to be a desiccated, but maybe maybe a year or old corpse. I shut it. Chink. Okay. I can. I move on. And right. uh, I'll follow. Okay. So continuing down, you do. A, <coughs> you are able to find one door, and I'll get to the. I'll get to the ballroom in just a moment. You find uh, another fresh corpse, but this one hanging by the manacles. And seems to have only been there about three weeks. From the the bloat is there, but the body hasn't started to decay, and there's a puddle of excrement and other stuff that comes from death down and pulled around this little legs. That's how sure gets around. <laughs> cool. I just keep going. I'm gonna keep going forward, and and yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go gonna... in. I'm going to open this door. Okay, so Bronze I... kept going. Artemis, give me a charisma saving throw. What's my charisma bonus? Eighteen. Okay. You also feel the, the urge to walk into the room, and you're able to shake off the urge and know that if you entered, it would be of your own free will. I'm gonna I'm gonna close that door. Like so, uh, that's gonna go. We should avoid going in these places. If you wish to avoid going in places, you shouldn't have come to this place. Uh, I'm being paid. So, uh, reaching the end of the doors, not checking anymore. As you make another left turn, you see a doorway at the end of the hall, uh, mirroring the way you had just come from. So, gonna move from there to the ballroom. So what are you going to do in this room that two of you see all the candy and one of you sees all the, the dilapidation? Darkness. Um, I'm going to investigate, just kind of like do a once around and look for anything. Okay, roll me an investigation as you wander the room. Nineteen? Okay. Oh, that's a uh, the other two. What are you two doing while Jacinth is doing this investigation? I'm gonna sit down on the floor and pull out some gems and dragon bones and ornate cards and put them in front of me. And then I'm going to cast augury. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As so. she does that, Tiberius is gonna cast Hunter Sense on her. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> don't think there's this. Nope. She's this one seems clean. No, no weaknesses beyond the mortal coil. Right. <laughs> Aww, she's so disappointed. I'll probably have like some divination crap on you. <laughs> I'm more suspicious than ever. <laughs> I am. I am weak to uh, blade through heart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak to a stake to the chest. Well, who isn't? <laughs> I'm impartial so, to silver. So, Jacinth, as you're investigating around the edges of the room, you do discover uh, that behind the, the ripped up tapestries, you find doorways that lead to a hallway that seems to be that seems to mirror the the hallway above it that the mirror that the windows open up to. What's the state of the door? Just like a regular wooden door? It's just a just a hole in the wall as oh, if okay. a place where a, someone could be hiding behind it and come out from behind the tapestry at a moment's notice from the hallway. That and cool. the throne, the, the, the old stone throne at the end, you find two knobs uh, as you're investigating. But uh, that's all you, but this is just general. You can see that they seem to be knobs on the arms of the chair. They're 
But uh, you're, you'd have to investigate the chair specifically. I'm gonna for fondle the chair. Hmm? I'm gonna investigate the chair and fondle the little knobs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the chair's having a good night. Okay, so uh, I guess go to the augury first. What did you want to know? So it says a specific course of action you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. So I want to know what's going to happen when we get onto the other side of this door. Which door are you asking about? The one that I slammed shut earlier. We're in that. We're in. Oh, we're in it? Yeah. It was the ballroom. That's where I went in. Oh, it went into the ballroom. The, 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 yeah. Okay. The, the, one, the one on the left side of the room that you had slammed, um, mm -hmm. you, you hear just hear whispering, dinner time. Wait, the one that we're in? No, no. You guys walked oh. into the one that was directly across from the entrance. She, right. The door she right. slammed shut was double right. doors yeah, that led to a room with light in it. Does the voice sound familiar to me? No. Okay. You know a lot of houses? No, I just thought it was the person who let us in, who gave us oh, the food before yeah. we entered. Yeah. That would be shady. So as these, as you're doing your augury, it's at the, the, how much detail am I supposed to get? We or woe or both. Yeah. Be... You get to choose wheel for good results, woe for bad, wheel or woe for both good and bad, or nothing for results that aren't specifically good or bad. You just hear dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> and you take it in your head as a whale and woe. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> So as the as the uh, as synth is playing around with the knobs, I'm going to have uh, let's see each uh, Felicity and Tiberius give me a d20 roll. Just tell me what number it was. Seven, three, eighteen. Let Sorry, me... Felicity and oh. uh, Tiberius, not Artemis. Sorry, my brain just skipped for a moment. It's all right. Um, eighteen. Okay, so an odd and an even. Okay, and how close are you two standing to each other? How I close? have not moved away yet. I'm like three or four feet away. Okay. So, uh, as Felicity, you're sitting there, you suddenly feel your body become paralyzed. You can't move. You're stuck like a statue in Tiberius. You feel the overwhelming urge to draw your blade and strike this person standing before you. I can't talk either. You are paralyzed for oh, God. the round. Uh, yeah, I'll attack her. Okay. Oh my God. Artemis is having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting. You're sitting there. Just, yeah, just since you're just sitting there fiddling around with these, and uh, <laughs> I've got my back turned. I'm just like, snap. He's not have to do something. Yeah. Uh, nineteen to hit. That's definitely going to be a hit. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> 10 damage. Duh. So, Felicity, you feel the sword strike across your back, and then, Tiberius, suddenly the urge is gone. You feel fine, Felicity. You can move again, but ouch. Yeah. Oh, I can move again? You can move again. Son of a... <laughs> 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 what was that for? That is a strange reaction. Nah. You stabbed me! <laughs> what kind of reaction did you think I was going to have? <laughs> I do not trust you. <laughs> well, now I don't trust you! <laughs> I'm going to so get up and... You, you hear this strike and all this wreck is behind you, Synth. I just turn around and I'm just like... I'm going to sit in the throne and just look at him like, What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you lean back you lean back in the chair yeah and I'm gonna try to like fiddle oh, with, no. the, with the knobs like that. as you're right. fiddling with the knobs you twist them both at the same time oh, and no. you feel the, uh, the chair recline a little bit and suddenly the chair slides forward five feet <gasps> with a grinding sound does it do anything oh, else or does no. it just come to a stop it comes to a stop can but I try turning him the other way? It slides back. It slides back five feet. <laughs> I slide back again. <laughs> slide slide back again. <laughs> I'm getting stabbed to death, and she's playing with this chair. Like this is so much fun. 
<laughs> hey, you guys should stop that. <laughs> Try this Not that <laughs> often. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> sitting before the so, uh, so at about this time, uh, the the Artemis and Braun group up in the in the hallway hear the sound of metal connecting with a person and and just all like, what the hell reaction? Are there windows on this side as well? Yes, there are. And you can, so see, can see looking down, down into them, blood dripping from Felicity and Tiberius. I, sm- I smash one of the windows. Yeah, that would be my reaction too. like I'm jumping out a window. Okay, so the window is uh, is smashed, and there is enough room if you wanted to just tuck your knees and jump out the window. I yep. will smash out another window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gonna so break all the windows. Give me oh, uh, give God. me acrobatics if you're jumping, because it's twenty foot fall. Uh, my acrobatics is gonna be a uh, twenty four. Okay, so you managed to tuck and roll, and you land skillfully on this table of rotten foods. It smashes inwards, but it, you manage to, to use that to, and, to break your fall. And I'm going to have draw both my daggers, just kind of spin them out and look around like, all right, what happened? Okay, Bron? Uh Smashing out another window, I use my rope to tie off and <laughs> climb down. Okay, Bron, so taking a little extra time, that's going to take you a, a, little, a few, uh, less than a minute, but... So Artemis is there with the daggers, Felicity's sitting with augury tools, bleeding. Synth is in the chair, just like, whoa, cool. Well, do we <laughs> see what is revealed when the chairs move forward since we're above them? Yeah, there seems to be an opening underneath the chair, uh, behind the chair. Oh, look at that. What? I'm just still going back and forth <laughs> with it, though. Like, I'm, I'm going to call over, hey, Synth, move the chair towards us. Something cool's underneath it. Okay, okay, okay. And I go forward. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to make my way to Felicity and go down. Are you okay? Do yeah, I Tiberius just okay? attacked her. That was crazy. It's a good thing you guys came busting through the window. Like uh, our friend, the our orc friend, Bron, he can heal. So can uh, I? Um, oh, like I trust you to touch me. <laughs> After what you just did, <laughs> Tiberius will sheath the sword and uh, say, "I'm not sure what came over me." Now that that way that's it. Did, did A say stranger. I don't know what came over me. We can be friends now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will you allow me to heal you? No. It is the least I can do. Healing hug. I feel betrayed. <laughs> I ate that cookie for you. So what did you do to repay me? You stabbed me. <laughs> well, I was looking at my <laughs> bones. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll attempt to to reach out to touch you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the chair and go check out what's underneath and go down. If uh, I'm just sobbing now. <laughs> my feet hit Can the I floor. Can I insight check her? No. <laughs> sure. Is she crying for real? Fuck, it's a one. Of course I am. These, these are the fakest crocodile tears you've ever seen. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go okay. Um Artemis. Friend, friend Braun, could you please assist? Uh, we should probably not split up anymore because it seems we do. You and I, you, you and I, you know, we work well together. The other compatriots tend to try killing each other. I did nothing as I'm going down the hole behind the <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll run after Synth and, and follow her. Uh, yeah, we Tiberius will we'll stalk we off. We must find it. I am very trustworthy. Oh. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to kind of you know wrap my arms around. Uh, well, let's see. Like, okay, I, I will. I, I will carry you <laughs> so we can uh, continue our journey. <laughs> and I'm gonna carry. Tiberius is. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna carry her down the hole. I don't know if it's a door or stairs or like if I'm just going down like a sewage entrance. Like I don't know what Super this is, Mario. Down. <laughs> okay. So um, down down you go into the basement and as uh as Felicity and Tiberius descend, you feel your, your senses clear a little bit and now you see this basement for what it is and 
Jacinth, Braun, and Artemis, you see the same thing. It, it's not destroyed, it's not dilapidated, and uh, the other two, it's no longer made of candy. You're in a very standard basement. It seems descending has either broken the illusion or it's outside of it. And you're in a crate-filled, almost labyrinth of a basement with barrels, crates, uh, with uh, the smell of moldy food, but not the overall rotten stench. And some of the casks are obviously of ale, wine. Uh, some of them just simply have the things that you would need around a regular estate. It seems oddly normal compared to everything you've seen so far. And oh, look at all the delicious candy you guys should eat! <laughs> I'm going to do an investigation check. Uh, 19. <laughs> I'm too depressed I, to I thought you me. had her in your arms. I thought you had. I, I do. I'm there. holding her, but I'm just looking around. I'm not like, you know, touching <laughs> stuff. I'm just looking around us to see if I can see anything out of the ordinary. Like maybe one of these uh, barrels has like one of those funny handles on it, like you'd see in Oh, wait, wait. What was the party marching order? Who's in front? Who's second? Who's like. I think went I'm down first. Front, I just went yeah, down. So yeah. We so were bringing up the rear. I think Brom went down and then Tiberius. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to. Up. I wanted to go up next to Brahm anyway. Cool. I wanted to be next to Tiberius anyways. Oh, awesome. I I, uh, I lean over uh, and I say, you know, you could heal me. <laughs> Do you need some healing? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hurt? Healing. I have been whipped by a carpet, <laughs> and I, I punched the wall. <laughs> <laughs> when someone I, asked me to and i did i will in fact uh cast cure wounds mm. uh so you heal eight yes uh sorry and uh thanks you're welcome <laughs> it's some good elf magic so. i'm pulling out a a doll and i'm writing um Tiberius's name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he still charmed by you? Don't you still have him charmed? That wears no, off after Artemis. how Not how Artemis, that... Tiberius. Oh, right, right. I, I'm still charmed. How long does best charm best last friend. for you? At least an hour, if not longer. Yeah, it depends At least on an the hour. level. It might even be eight hours, but I think it's an hour. I could be wrong. Tiberius is going to say to Brahm, I thought you were not here for the stone. I, I don't want the stone, no. But isn't that what you're all looking for? It is. Right. What are you looking for? Perhaps we can help each other. We are helping each other. Perhaps we can help each other if we know more about each other. How can we help each other more? We've been helping each other as much as... Can you help more than you have not... Have you not been helping as much as you can? Perhaps I could help you more if I knew what as you were I'm after. Bleeding, clearly yeah. not. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not fair, though, Felicity, because Tiberius did offer you healing and you you rejected it. After she slaughtered me, <laughs> why would I be OK with this? I'm well, waving the doll with her name on it. Well, it, it, it <laughs> seems to me that only one person can have the stone. So you should all get used to the idea of figuring out who that one person will be. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so Artemis, as you're investigating with a 19, you find uh, you do find a trail of blood as if something's been dragged or crawled towards the eastern side of the room. Was it me? <laughs> uh, I'm going to point that out. Like, there's a trail of blood that you know, it could lead us to what we're looking for, could lead us to a door. I'm going to start following it. And uh, at, also with that, you find a door that's partially ajar that seems to have a, a faint light from behind it, like a flickering uh, lantern light. That the blood isn't leading towards, and the blood's not coming from that room. There could be something in that room that could help us with our goal. Could be. Well, Cynthia was the first person in the room. And she's following the blood trail. Where Where is it leading? It seems to lead towards another door, but this door is closed. And it's a standard uh, 
vertical pieces of wood held together by uh, by steel and bolts. Can I try to listen to see if anything's coming from behind it? Behind the closed or the open door? The the closed door at the end of the blood trail. You can't hear anything coming behind it. So. I'm going to turn the doorknob and open it, but not step through. Okay. <clears throat> so the door opens and uh, nothing happens except the door opening. <laughs> is it and dark? Because I'm a human. I don't have dark vision. Do I need to pull out like a torch or something? There is no light coming from this room. And it is pretty dark down here. You're basically just able to make out the slightest shapes of things and only notice the blood as a slight darkening on the already dark gray concrete floor. Well, then I will pull out my torch and light it. Okay. I'm and still the... hanging on Artemis, and I'm just gonna like fake how injured I am to kind of get him to like be slower than the rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> and what's everyone else doing with uh, the information that you've been given? Going into the door. I'm gonna follow, but at you know a, a measured pace because I don't want to <laughs> hurt Felicity more than Charity is. Okay, so. Going into this room, you you don't actually find anything there. It just seems to be another room with four large barrels sitting, laying on their side with spigots out of them, as if this was a room where people could come to pour a mug of ale. So the source of the blood, or the result of the blood, is not in this room? It seems to have stopped at the entrance to the room. Okay. Then I'm gonna go investigate the rest of the room. Okay, the rest of this the barrel room. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna back out of that since it. Or no, yeah, I guess I'll investigate that room. See if there's. Okay. Anything. Give me a uh, give me a roll. Investigate. Sixteen. Uh, nice. Sixteen. Okay, you you notice that one of the round heads of the barrels with a spigot doesn't line up properly as not doesn't seem water tight to the barrel on its side is anyone following me in this room nope okay uh. i'm gonna open the barrel. <laughs> you open the barrel and it's it does indeed seem to be a door that leads to, into a darkened tunnel with a another opening just more smashed in on the other side that opens into a different room. Can I crawl through with my torch, or am I going to have to put that out in a way? You can crawl in if you want. Okay, it's... I'm going to do that. So you find yourself in... Synth is gone. <laughs> Synth is gone, You and Synth finds herself in a spiraling tower with stairs leading up. I'm going to go up those stairs and okay. let you get back to everyone else, I imagine. Yeah, what's, what's everyone else doing? You've seen Synth just disappear, she lit a torch... Walked into the room, felt around, and then suddenly the torchlight disappears. I'm gonna, I'm gonna weak fall, like it, not like I'm, like kind of like I'm fainting a little bit, and hope that Artemis catches me. Oh my yes, goodness. that that. Let me roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, with my Dex modifier, a three. Where is that? Huh. Twenty-two. <laughs> to try catching <laughs> Felicity. <laughs> Artemis. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm gonna you know, pull out my water skin, just bite off the ledge. Like, here, drink this. You know, we, we'll make it through here. You'll get out. You'll be fine. <laughs> this cute child over there. Is oh, so <laughs> Hi, Artie. So adorbs. <laughs> I remember what she's doing. So my hand that's like bloodied, I'm gonna put it to Artemis's face. And I'm like, Artemis, I love you. Artemis kind of furrows his brow. I'm gonna furrow my brow like that is not something I I hear too often in, in my line of work. I have to tell you something before I die. Our guild leader has sent me to kill you, but I cannot. So when I die, you must take the stone, but be wary when you bring it back to him. (laughs) 
Are Brahm and Tiberius <laughs> just standing there? Like, yeah, know, yeah right? what are you two doing? Tell me about it. Go ahead and uh, interrupt. Like, uh, like, well, I, I think Brahm and Tiberius have been like looking at each other in the eye. We've been sort of having this conversation. Um, I brush my sort of like asymmetrical hair <laughs> aside. And you see that my eye socket is empty. I only have one eye. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I assume I'm, I like I'm about to say something maybe with some gravitas to you. And then I just sort of turn and look at like this beautiful like scene that's like, <laughs> happening off to our left. <laughs> I, I'm going to look at Blissey like I've been given my orders. Part of those orders were to make sure you get out of here. So you have to find the stone. I will try. Human love is weird. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a dagger in his hand and look at him. Just threw it. <laughs> That's what I thought. No, my, my first thought was human love is weird. Just put the dagger in and throw. <laughs> Do as you must. Okay, so this touching scene has been going on. Tiberius. Uh, so at the setting back to the scene, Jacinth, Synth has disappeared. Felicity is hamming it up with Artemis. <laughs> Bronze, like what? And Tiberius, what's uh, what's your reaction to life right now? Tiberius is still trying to figure all this out. Uh, you got a door with a lantern and one door that's been opened where Synth disappeared into. Yeah, Synth disappearing is not okay. What Synth disappeared? Where you yes. should find it. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. Uh, go into that room to look for her. Yeah. Uh, Can I possibly try to like close the barrel behind me? We could say you did that on your way through. <laughs> okay. Just kind of c- catch it with your heel and just pull it shut. <laughs> right, just with, my, with my slightly like kind of you know like the the toenails are a little like sharp and hooked and weird a little bit. I just like flick off the sandal, tug it close. <laughs> It's funky. I'm glad you guys didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, so, I guess, uh, I guess, well, we'll leave Felicity and Artemis behind, and uh, Tiberius will go after, go into the room that Synth was in, that we lost last saw the torchlight in, yes. and uh, take a look around. Okay, Synth. Uh, I'll this will I'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Synth, as you're climbing the stairs. Give me a uh, give me a perception check. Go synth, go. Uh-huh. Ah. Can do it. Don't lead a one. Nine. Nine. Okay, <clears throat> you're you're walking. Uh, you're, you're are you walking or running up the stairs? I'm moving at a brisk pace. Okay, <laughs> it's safe to say this this spiraling staircase just seems to be going on and on and on and on. I'm gonna run faster. Okay, you keep running. <laughs> you, keep, you keep running faster, and uh, okay. So Tiberius, Braun, you guys, you give me investigations to see if you can figure. I out will what aid Tiberius. Okay, so Tiberius Ooh. has an okay. advantage. Awesome. Let me double check. Okay. Okay, the twenty-one. I, I hope nice. she's all right. So. You find yeah. the, it too. <laughs> you find this the door. It wasn't pulled c- closed enough, and you see that this the spigot is not lined up with all the other barrels, and there's a about a one inch crack <laughs> behind this false door in the barrel. Your dog uh. just dragging its butt across the floor. <laughs> he's trying to scratch his chest on the floor because he's got stubby little legs and can't reach it, so he just like passed <laughs> up and just like the uh. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. <laughs> Totally acceptable. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I call out um, Felicity, Artemis. I think we found the secret door. I'm going to uh, kind of lift Felicity up and walk towards the door, but I'm going to palm the dagger. <laughs> palm it? <laughs> no, like, I have it palm hidden it. up my sleeve. <laughs> like, so um, that is definitely a secret door. Tiberius is going to follow. I'm going to go in it. Okay. So I'll follow Tiberius. Okay. Like, 
Well, so. we saw how well it worked out last time we split everyone up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Okay, so everyone, so the party of four enters the barrel, and uh, anyone not have have dark vision here? Artemis doesn't. I nope. do. I'm a human. Hmm. I shall be your eyes, Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving up the stairs, not lighting a torch. Nope. No. Okay. Okay, so it's not a big room, so even in this darkness, you can still make out the black and white uh, dim light from your dark vision. And it's a spiral staircase leading up. And it got, just from the reflection of light, it seems like uh, there's torchlight only maybe one or two stories uh, above you. But you can hear running. Like, just, I'm uh, just uh, like, fuck this spiral staircase! <laughs> just like running uh, up. Uh, I'm just going to scream, uh, Synth, are you there? And oh you my gosh, them. you guys got your way into the barrel? God, I can't figure out the staircase! And I'm still trying to run up it. Just <laughs> Give me another perception check, uh, Synth, and yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll start up and grab a torch on the way. First one nine. I Is that another nine? You're muted or something. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Couldn't hear you. That was weird. Um, no, I got ten. Ten. Oh, <laughs> so a little bit better. We're working our way up. You're getting there. Don't worry. Just, just eight more of those. And, uh, I think your mic's turned down or something, though. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I could hear you. Okay. Hey, I'm not muted. I don't know. No, you're no, good. that's better. Okay. Anyway, so moving up. So you hear your your companions only maybe a few stores behind you, and they don't sound out of breath like they've been running at all. <laughs> So, and you see the torchlight just slowly moving up as they saunter up the stairs behind you. I am just like doubled over, hands on my knees, well, one <laughs> hand on my knee holding the torch, just like, <gasps> I can't figure it out. All right, everyone else, give me a, give me a perception check. That's a 24 from me. Nice. 18. Eight. Fourteen. Okay, so uh, Felicity and Tiberius, as you're going up the stairs and continuing to walk, there are little windows, and you can see the the roof of the mansion, and as you're going, you're not getting any further away from the roof going up. Hmm. Was there a down, or it just went up? Does uh, my 24 yield any results? That was, uh, that, that was... <laughs> I love was, eyebrow. Hmm, 24 perception. Give me investigations. Ooh, if you want to actually. Yeah, I want to try to figure this out. Oh, sweet. Uh, 19. Nice. Okay, so Tiberius yeah. turns and walks back down, and as Tiberius walks down, you see Tiberius's feet coming down from in front of you. Mm hmm. Just like got the torch. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? And I'll say. We are all trapped. I suggest everyone spill their secrets immediately. <laughs> Let's go out the window. The windows are only about that big. You can, you can see out them, maybe <laughs> knock an arrow shoot out. Uh, anyone else given investigations? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll roll one. Oh, wait. Uh, we can all do investigation? Yeah. Oh. 23. 23. Uh, so, six. But luckily, <laughs> Artemis, uh, as you're walking up the stairs, keeping an eye on the steps, you do notice one of the stairs in this endless spiral seems to have a chip in it that as you go, you notice is there, it's there. And uh, reaching down at one point and fiddling, you realize the step is loose and can be lifted up. So I am going to tell the others to kind of get near me, and I'm going to wrap my arm around Felicity and say, hold on, as I move the stairs. Okay. So lifting up on the... <laughs> you have on your side. <laughs> so lifting up the step, there's a poof of red light, and then you see where a rune had been what is now just a charred smear underneath the step. And lowering it back down, you hear a ka and 
feel like it, you might be able to carry on from here. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> and then very winded start walking up the stairs. I'll be like, uh, send, I, I, have, I, have, I have water. <laughs> I also have water. Save it. You never know if we're going to run into another staircase. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, go, go to the staircase, I guess. <laughs> and uh, going by time, this feels like you've been in here for hours. Even even though yep. only a little bit of time has passed, uh, Synth, you feel like you've been running up here for for a long time. My and... glutes are on fire. <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> You've got your your quads are just burning. Your knees are starting to ache. Plantar fasciitis is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I've That's heard painful. Of this, Jeez. Uh, I heard of this wonderful fruit from a traveling band called a banana. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get those electrolytes. Uh... <laughs> yes. I start going up the stairs. Okay, yeah. so one flight up, you find a door. I check it for traps. Give me investigation, paladin. I got a five. <laughs> There's definitely no traps. Is it locked? It is not locked. Cool. I've had pretty good luck opening doors. You want me to open it? <laughs> uh, sure. I open the door. Okay, opening the door, you find yourself in a strange spot that is impossible for the dimensions of the house. You are <laughs> looking out over a henge with stones standing straight up, sitting on top of each other forming a path 60 feet long to a central dais that has a throne on it. But unlike the throne in the ballroom, there is a body sitting on it. You can't tell from this distance if it's a statue or if it's a corpse, but this body seems to be belong to someone 12 feet tall with sideburns and a top hat. Definitely a drogger. <laughs> is is this open air or is there a ceiling? It is open air and the sky is black and starless. I'm gonna go in a little bit. So so yeah. I I start moving yeah. towards the the, the the body. Yeah. So give me a perception check for for the distance. <clears throat> Nine. Natural twenty. Yay! <laughs> So the natural 20, you can tell that this is indeed just a statue, but sitting in its lap is a red ruby the size of a human head, just cradled in its lap, pulsing red. Oh, I'm going to go pick up the ruby! <laughs> it's 60 feet away, and is anyone going to just allow going her to make her run? Oh, we're just, we're She's just making calm. a bolt for it. Everyone give initiative. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> No! 16. Damn it. 12. 14. Uh, fucking 6 for me. 8. So, so we got Artemis first, then... What was 14. the next? 14? Anyone higher than 14? No. Mm. Uh, that was what for Tiberius? Uh, 6. Ooh, and that was an 8 for Braun? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Artemis, uh, what are you going to do as you see Synth just take off for the reason you are here? Uh, let's see. Can I want to make sure I can do it first. I'm going to throw one of my daggers. Okay. Good call, and, good call. And as she is running away from you, does not notice this. Nope. So you'd get advantage on that. Oh. Wow. Oh, um, nat 20. Ooh. Bible. Okay. So uh, roll up that damage for just a sin. <laughs> I was like, ooh, 15 AC. This is going to be nice. <laughs> uh, total of eight damage. Oh, you're just using that. Okay. Just a regular dagger. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you take eight damage, and uh, now it's your turn. You are 60 feet as you take off. You're maybe 10 feet ahead of everybody else as you bolted. I am going to dash. Okay. To 
<laughs> so, She's not messing around. I'm not, I'm not, She's not got a goal. Out. So Jacinth ma- manages to make it to the to the. What are you? What are the rest of you going to do? As Jacinth is now doing a full bolt towards the stone. Well, whose turn is it? Next goes uh, Felicity. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. And uh, so while well, that's happening, are you going to be advancing, using your movement, or just doing that as your action? Uh, I'm going to watch everyone go first and keep my eye on Tiberius. Okay, Bron. I will double move to get next to the ruby as well. Okay, and as you- I'm moving forward, um, I'm going to be shouting, Grumpsh, give me strength, as I start to uh, vibrate with obvious magic. <laughs> with obvious magic. <laughs> okay, so side by side, you've got Bronn and Jacinth standing by the in, heading for the orb. Uh, Tiberius, what's your go? Um, I would like I to guess pull the out... Paper. Oh, shit. I would like to pull out my longbow and ready in action. Whoever touches that thing is going to get shot. Okay. Uh, moving up back to Artemis. <laughs> you are now you are now like sixty feet back. I know that um Felicity's close to me. Is Tiberius close to me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I no think so. No one's advanced except for Jacinth and Braun. Okay. Hey buddy. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, I would like to uh, first, I'm going to roll s- stealth to see if I can do what I want to do. <laughs> oh, man. What do you mean, stealth? Like, what are you hiding behind? There's a hinge. Um, oh, got it. Uh, seven for stealth. So, a total of 20 on my stealth. Okay, you and... disappear into the stones. <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to shoot at Tiberius with my bow. Okay, so... so Tiberius... Uh, the... I did stab your girlfriend. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. Yeah. All right, so we have all that damage unless you do want to roll to try and see that. You said natural 20 or just 20? I don't see it. I'm, I'm totally focused on the other two. Okay. Uh, with the total of 10. 10 damage or 10 to ten, hit? Uh, 10 damage to hit. Okay. I got a 19 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm bloodied. Ooh. Okay. So as the as that arrow streaks into Tiberius, I'm going to have Jacinth and Braun roll contested uh, strength checks. Why? <sighs> This is not gonna go well. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why? Why? I'm not. I'm not. What am I doing? What, what Are you I trying am? to stop? Are you trying to grab the stone too? No. Uh, no, so, no, no. I wasn't oh, going to try and. Grab. Okay, Jacinth, go ahead. Take the stone. Well, can we have a? Our, well, whose turn is it? I guess. I'm going to say Jacinth is going ahead. for it, and I'm going to allow you if you wanted, just pointing it out that you, if you wanted to use a reaction. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, no, no. Um, I all I say is sort of begrudgingly. I say I'm sorry, Synth. I'm sorry. Okay, I do, just I do not use my, <laughs> her face is like. <laughs> I don't use my reaction to try and grab the stone. Okay. So. Yeah. Now you take the stone and you feel warmth, warm light. It's going to be your next turn before you can use it, as it takes a minute to read your thoughts and your soul. Okay. Uh, can ready, I fire yeah, at her now? Yeah, ready, yeah you can fire at uh, Jacinth. Can I shield? <laughs> With the gem? <laughs> it's, no, if it's a, well, it's, I mean the spell shield. It's, it's a, a reaction. Oh, oh. Cool. Oh, shit. No. no. What would you roll? I miss. I, a 10. Okay. No, it was a natural <laughs> one, I would say, to hit Braun. Or I tried to hit Braun. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I rolled a 3. It okay. hits the stone and shatters it. <laughs> <Close>. <laughs> So it just it, you, you, you hear it just skid across and uh, it bounces off the the top hat of Abraham Lincoln. 
And okay, also, I feel like I got shot and then I let my shot go. Yeah, like it knocked and your aim it off. Just, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was just very, it was totally That's bad. Cool. <laughs> but okay. The error, the error to the knee really throws off your aim. <laughs> <laughs> it does. More it does. So, for you. So, Felicity, what, what are you doing now that you're all healed up? Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna end world hunger. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting indeed. All right, I'm going to take a shot at Tiberius with my crossbow. What? <laughs> <laughs> Man, Why? The time has come. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is brutal. I did not see that. <laughs> I'm just like, like nervous farting. Like this one getting through something. It's not happening. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, 18. <laughs> Does it go? Oh yeah. Okay. You definitely hit me. Okay. My AC is not that high. Um, and it's one. Oh, it's the wrong dice. <laughs> it's a little dark here. I'm trying to see it. Okay. Okay. So it is eight. Damn. That looks so good, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tiberius, like, ah, oh, a little, but he's still like, Super like hyper focused on sin. Okay. <laughs> so uh yeah, that was uh now Bron, <laughs> Bron, what are you gonna do? Cool. So I, I look at Synth uh as I have my sword out and I I've sort of apologize to her as as I just continue uh as I say, no one can have it. No one. Synth you, seem, nice. <laughs> you seem like a good person. And I do not I wish to strike you down. My, my, oh, no. <laughs> but no one can have it. And I will attack the stone if I can. If not, I will attack Synth. Okay, yeah, attack that stone. I will. Uh, I like I'll be at 16 versus AC. Yeah, 16 is definitely enough to, to hit this uh, this gem. Awesome. I will smite it. You can throw a smite. Okay. Um, I will do 10, 15, 19, 27, 35, 37 (laughs) damage to it. (laughs) Oh, I just get like knocked back with it. (laughs) Holy shit. Man, that's, that's so close. You, you managed to smash it and it seems like it's being, it's holding on by a prayer. You have, you're have taken a chunk into it and it just seems like it's being held together simply by the hug that synth has on it i take my second attack (laughs) (laughs) i am guarding it with my life (laughs) as i do my tabard begins to shred as uh all these sort of like clockwork gears begin to shred my tabard up and it seems as if my arms become mechanical for a second as i just am swinging like with perfect precision at this thing, as I roll an armor class of 21 to hit. Uh, I'll do 10, 12, I'll smite again, uh, 16, 20 damage. Oh no. That'd be 57 oh. damage. It explodes in your arms, and, <laughs> and, and you, you feel, oh. you, and as it explodes, both of you Give me some strength saves. Oh no. <laughs> 18. Okay. 16. 16. Okay. So you're both able to stay on your feet, but the ge- the gem erupts, hitting you with shards, dealing 15 points of damage each. Ooh. And there's a, a hiss, an audible hiss, as this light sky lasers into the sky and spreads out. And you hear just weeping and laughing and growling and profanities and loving <laughs> sounds as all of you loving just sounds. see this expression. Oh, yeah. There's just like, ah, oh, yeah, ah. Anyway. 
<laughs> just all the all the emotions in this stone, all the good wishes, the bad wishes that have ever been cast good uh, for for better or worse for other people all seem to just erupt and the stone is now a red dust in your arms synth. I'm sorry. And uh moving to Tiberius who is dealing with some problems of his own. Um Tiberius was not expecting that. <laughs> and none of us were. Now we're all like, what? Yeah, like, uh... He's... <laughs> 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 uh, he's gonna stride forward. Uh, just kind of casually walking, holding the bow down, pointed to the ground. Um, maybe get, like, not, not dashing, so probably only 30 feet towards Brahm and Synth. He's going to look at Brahm and just. Even. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, he's going to look at Brahm and say, uh, I told you that I could have helped you. You have helped. Well done. And to you. Now and let's that's my slay turn. these betrayers. As I look oh, no. At... I actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I only, I'm gonna heal myself. Actually, <laughs> that's a that would be a good thing for me to do right now. Okay, um, but yeah, that's my turn. Otherwise, are you gonna move on your turn or stay there right out in the open, getting shot at? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move forward thirty feet and then heal myself. So. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. so moving back up to Artemis. Hello. Uh, hmm. Your hiding has been uh, has been undone as you fired an arrow. And we know that's the legit stone we were looking for, right? From Jacinth's reaction, you believe so. So that the book I am in possession of, would I be able to use it in this room? No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that could uh, have been. Oh, wow. Okay. I am, uh, from my position, going to take and line up another shot at Tiberius. <laughs> Oh no! What do you have against me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> orders are orders. Oh, really? No. Uh, eighteen. Yeah, that hits. And what was my damage with my bow? E <laughs> six. Yeah. And six damage. Okay. Can can I roll to see if I oh is it my turn I'm sorry I just got crazy <laughs> uh, the, after after uh, Artemis goes just since everything's going crazy <laughs> I'm gonna stand up and I am just like bleeding this this whatever's <laughs> happening right here is not good yeah. hanging on Very by it <laughs> yeah and let's see. I am going to cast fireball. Yeah. Like where it'll hit Artemis and all of them. Cause it's like a 20 foot radius. Okay. The radius. So 40 feet. So uh, that depends. Did, uh, did Artemis move up towards the stone or off to the side? I know him and Felicity were near each other and then Tiberius moved like 30 feet up, but I didn't know if maybe I could like put it, yeah, where you wouldn't be able to. Three of them. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get brawn, but I think they all be be close enough that it would hit them. Okay, yeah. cool. So, uh, okay. dexterity saving throw to beat a. Where is my? Uh, fourteen to beat. I fail. I passed twenty two. I figured you would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I fail. I have a four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So hold on, I have to <laughs> roll a whole shake ton of dice. Shit. What is it? Oh Eight no. Six? I'm gonna get wiped out, I can see it now. Oh no. Not going good so far. No. Oh god. I'm dropping fireballs on souls. Mm -hmm. Did just get your heart broken, so I understand. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get the fireball of the face. Right. I, <laughs> <too. laughs> I was like, wait, you're next, ball. buddy. Yeah, right. all of us? Well, 23. Ooh. I think I rolled at eight. 23 damage. I'm down. No, hold on. 
32. Did I say 28? <laughs> 20, 32. I'm, I'm 32. I'm definitely. 32? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what is my crap? I think that I healed before that. Yeah, oh, right. man. I've got one hit point left. <laughs> <laughs> did I say 32? Uh, did I say 33? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. And does uh, Artemis take half damage on that? or? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do we have anything special? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it's one of those half damage if you save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he takes uh, sixteen, twenty-seven. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah. Ability check or when you make. If only it could have been a physical attack, then yeah. I could have used uncanny dodge. Mm. If only. <laughs> I'm on fire again. <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> if nothing else is happening, I have to move to Felicity. <sighs> All right. So I don't know if anybody's seen the burbs, but this is what it reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out of the house on fire uh, and just goes yep. down the stairs. Like <laughs> I'm just sitting there, like breathing heavily, just trying to hold in my guts. <laughs> I'm going to uh, stand before Artemis and drop down to my knees and look up at him and say, now is the time. Okay. Uh, an order is an order. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Braun. Cool. Uh, I'm super surprised. Uh, <laughs> Um, I look at uh, Synth, Jacintha. Does it look like she's like wild? Like her, she's like gone like berserk kill crazy? Or I... what's her, what is she looking like? Like maybe angry crying, basically. Angry, yeah. Like that <laughs> wet yeah. anger. Yeah. The, yeah. the ugly cry look from TV. Are you looking like... at me like you're going to kill me? <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking okay. at the fire yeah. and just kind of fire. like. Okay, cool trying not like that shuddering like <laughs> just a little panicked i guess yeah how tall are the walls here you said it was open air it's open air they've you've got a hinge that are about uh, 15 to 20 feet depending it's gonna hurt a little Do they look climbable they the stone's pretty smooth you could try if you wanted there are some vines okay um i will move 30 feet to Tiberius. Uh, as I basically am backing away from Synth saying uh, I mean you no harm. Go in peace. Uh, I consider you a friend. I consider you a friend. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to end this way. And I will move over to Tiberius, uh, take a knee and put a hand <laughs> on his shoulder as I heal him for 20 hit points of damage. Wow. Okay. Nice. Thank Very you. Kind of you. Uh, and I, I whisper to him, our people have not been natural allies, but Grumpsch favors my arm. We will prevail. And I, I sort of turn to look uh, across the field of battle now to Artemis, and I just salute him. Uh, I nod. Like, you know, it's a, I know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and... Like Artemis knows what he has to do, is as Felicity said, orders are orders. So T and Tiberius, you're back awake now. And that is the end of my turn. Okay. So Tiberius, you're back awake. Uh, it takes half your movement to stand up from the laying down like your dead pose. Okay. And uh, you've woken up to Braun proposing <laughs> an alliance <laughs> to uh, not get voted off the island. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will thank him, and I will say, uh, there is still evil here. I will stay until the job is finished, but you should feel free to go. I've never been one to run from a fight. Okay, so Artemis now seeing this uh, challenge and seeing the person you just took down being raised and allying seemingly with Braun. Can I can can I take an attack? Is it my oh, turn? Oh, if you want to, yeah, you go right ahead. Sorry. No, no, that's cool. Uh, I 
No, I'm not you, Sims. You're fine. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna... even, though she, even though they tried to kill you. Yeah, I'm going to try to shoot Felicity in the back. Oh! <laughs> That's okay. Uh, 17 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, misses. Oh, shit. Shield action. And I will... And that's only a fourteen to hit. So two bow, two swings of the bow, and two deflected be. arrows or missed arrows. So that one moves to Artemis. And I, I keep my eye contact on him the entire time, yeah. even though there's arrows going by, arrows whipping by. I love it. Nothing. Oh. What a great so, scene. Artemis <laughs> knows what he has to do, so he takes his dagger off the back of his belt, gently kisses Felicity on the forehead, moves behind her, and uh, 18. Uh, my armor class is 18. Oh. That's a hit. And I'm just going to pull the dagger straight across so it's painless. <laughs> you don't feel a thing. Oh, and, and there's an upset. And then I drop the dagger and walk away. I'm disengaging. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So Artemis has used his movement to move back to the doorway (laughs) and is making for the exit. Uh, That goes to Jacinth, still standing by the statue. Everyone's within 20 feet of each other. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I'd say. Well, uh, our. 30 feet. Yeah, if you were to cast in a certain spot, you would probably get... I'm going to get the... more die out to make this easier. So, now that I'm dead... <laughs> <laughs> I believe in... I have special powers. <laughs> I, I've given you three anti-inspiration dice as the spirit, the vengeful spirit to use uh, as an interrupt whenever you would feel like using them. So do I have to wait for Jacinth to roll first, or I have to announce it now? Uh, you you use it as a reaction to a attack or a saving throw. Okay. Go ahead, Jacinth. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, you could just see Artemis is bloody, beaten, and just like, I'm, I'm done with all of this. <laughs> <laughs> if I survive to the main room, I'm shooting an arrow through the hourglass. So I guess roll your uh, saving throws if, if uh, or is well, what, is, what is actually happening right now? Yeah, uh, sorry, fireball again. So dexterity savings Got throw it. fourteen to beat, and the damage full damage is twenty nine. I uh, make my save. I are, you, are you getting disadvantage for your heavy armor? I'm sorry. Uh, um, are you wearing heavy armor? Wait, I'm I want I want to use my my negative inspiration. Okay. So, on just synth. Uh, I, I believe uh, on just synth. You're using the negative inspiration on just synth. Yeah. But so she doesn't negative. make any rolls. She just does damage. Yeah. Oh, she just does damage. Yes. Oh, so negative one. Oh, so did you hit all three of them? Um. Well, well I think- it, it hits, but you roll to take half damage, and so I think you might be able to, if it's like an inspiration die, you could give them inspiration to help them save from it. No, this is this oh. is a negative inspiration. No, it's a negative oh, one. Okay, sorry. So you, could, so you subtract so did, did, did Brawny Boy over there get hit? Uh, I think for uh, heavy ahead. armor, you'd have to roll with disadvantage. For, no, wait. No, that's only for... Yeah, I've never for, played with that rule before, but I'm happy to roll with disadvantage if you want me to. I, I can't remember if Chad just mentioned that. Uh, if, if, I know it gives you disadvantage on stealth on certain checks. dexterity yep. checks. I think that's it. Checks, yep. I think it's just yeah, I think so thing. too. But I'm happy to roll with disadvantage. Right. If that's no, you. no, you go ahead, Dolph. Oh. So if you pass, oh, yeah, you pass. You. 17 and you rolled a 29. So I'll yeah, take. So. Yep. So I'll take half of that. Uh, I fail and go down again. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm down. I am very, very badly burned. But okay. I'm still standing as I'm just smoldering. And I look back at uh, Jacinth as I just like my one eye is just sort of gleaming furiously. <laughs> oh, God. So it's just the two of us now. Yeah, my hair is like burned away. Like I look like full on rugged savage orc now. You can see that my eye has been ritualistically torn out 
as I am obviously a follower of Grumsh One Eye, the orc god. Um, and uh, yeah, my great sword is at the ready. It has the evil runes that are sort of glowing on it, the serrated edges of it. I look really savage right now. <laughs> So what are you going to do on your turn? I don't know. Whose turn is it? Well, it's, it'd be yours because you're the only one who's still up. Cool. I Unless we're doing death you. saving throws. I, I, I point at you uh, as I say, our alliance has come to an end. The eye of Grunch is upon you. And I cast Moonlight. Uh, an alliance? <laughs> yeah, I thought we did. I guess not. <laughs> uh, you're going to need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, DC 13. Nice. Yeah. Basically, moonlight uh, bathes you. There's like a spotlight, almost like the eye of Grumsh is looking down upon you. Uh, <laughs> and um, you're going to take uh, a little bit of radiant damage. Uh, you take half on a, a successful save. So you take four radiant damage. And um, if you're a shape changer, you have disadvantage on the save, but I don't think you are. I don't think I am. I don't think you no, are. not in this case. Okay. So this is a concentration spell, so I just keep the eye of Grumsh burning upon you. Okay. Uh, and that's my turn. I'm going to not, I guess I will move closer to you. Yeah, I'll move 30 feet and get right next to you. Okay. So we're next to each other now? Yeah. So I'm going to fireball. <laughs> Right between us. Yes. You're gonna take the damage too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I just fucking hope it kills him too. Okay. <laughs> so extreme. I'm pretty sure we could all just walk out of this building. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was not letting anyone go. Not yeah. after that. <laughs> so. Gonna roll your saving throw there, Brown. Uh, yeah, I failed my saving throw. I rolled a six. <laughs> I just think it's great. I have the old, the thing that kills me is the thing that my character is best at: dexterity saving throws. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the most damage taken. Twenty-two damage. Ooh, I drop. So do I, because I had four health left. <laughs> and so well, with. That was fun. Yes, uh, so with that, <laughs> words. And uh, so at the, as the, all the challengers of the mansion come to a grisly self-inflicted fate, <laughs> having no more purpose on this realm, the mansion shudders and fades away, leaving only a orc. Punch over a stew pot, stirring, stirring, and chuckling to themselves. Nice. Maybe next year. Like those days, that soup one more time. <laughs> and the end. Yay! So, thank you everyone for joining me. I had no idea it would go that way. Thank you for uh, playing so fun. beautifully. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was that was the purpose of the game was to. <laughs> And so I'll, I'm going to go around and um, tell us who you are and what your secret was. Oh, so starting with uh, over there with uh, CA. Right. Uh, so my character uh, is from... Okay, so I owed a debt to a guild of thieves and assassins. Um, I had a shadow from the guild, which was Artemis who was an assassin that uh, seems to have fallen in love with me, but I don't trust them. Oh. Before leaving for the mission, I overheard the guild leader um, tell Artemis that if I succeed or fail, either way, I should be killed. Hmm. That was my secrets. Brutal. Okay, uh, down to Tiberius or, or Litsa. Uh, Tiberius... Uh, as he, he told everyone, uh, his parents were killed by dragons, which is why he became a dragon hunter. And he actually heard uh, a story of a dragon that was trapped in a humanoid form and was going after 
the stone to oh. get turned back. So he was here trying to figure out who was the dragon and stop them. Hmm. She okay. technically succeeded because we all died. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, he considers that a win. <laughs> so I'm going to nudge over to Ken. Cool, yeah. Uh, Bronn uh, <laughs> was from a pretty run-of-the-mill clan of orcs and half-orcs. Um, and their lore spoke of the wish stone as being something that was super evil and super bad. So his secret was he was in the mansion to destroy the stone. And so that was sort of, he wasn't there for it specifically to, to claim it or use it. Um, so yeah, he was just trying to find it, uh, and destroy it. Well, congratulations on being the most, one of the most successful. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we, if one of us had to die, I'm glad we all died. That's <laughs> I'm glad, I'm going the best way. <laughs> going to keep nudging over. Uh, so TK. Uh, I, my secret was that I was ordered to follow and kill Felicity for insulting the guild. <laughs> Whether, and uh, part of it was she had to get the stone then I was supposed to kill her <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen <laughs> and also a, a guild order was no one gets out alive oh. <laughs> so, you were halfway there <laughs> <laughs> okay. and moving up to Sam what was your secret so I'm glad that everyone else was pretty successful I, as you might have guessed, was the fucking dragon. Oh. <laughs> a year ago, I got obvious. trapped into a human body by some asshole wizard, and I just wanted to return to my true form. <laughs> so everyone was going to die no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another. I just we happened gonna... to go down with the ship. <laughs> One way or another, we were going to all catch on fire. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, what so, color dragon? I'm looking forward to playing a dragon, though, man. Yeah. What color Those dragon? were real tears earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been so I different. Be a dragon. <laughs> it would have been so much different if you had just taken it and used the rest of your turn to run. <laughs> I had a double dash to get there. Yeah. And a stairwell that never but, ends. But when, uh, when Braun was next to you, you could have tried to make a run for it with the with the stone you you grasped it you had it in your hands and you were given one more turn yeah. until uh, you wish yeah your wish would have started <laughs> at the beginning of your next turn yeah. but i have a feeling that aop would have probably killed me though because i think i was on like mm, 20 something hit points at that mm. point and then yeah but still that was fun thank you for well, making yeah, this yeah. uh first Thank you for making my first fail attempt a second second time success. Yay! Yeah, so. Thank you. You're welcome. We had a great time. Yes, it was yeah. so fun. It was amazing. Thank Ooh. you for running it. I'm glad you guys could join <laughs> yeah, me. This is a fun Halloween-y event, and <laughs> I look forward to playing. Welcome to the Variant Rolls family. Uh, we do this thing where we bring people in. It's our little Borg assimilation style, and <laughs> love to have any of you back again to play with us. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Cool. So, so everyone, thank you for watching. And uh, we are all. resuming our Dragon Heist stuff starting uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are playing Dragon Heist four times a week with four different groups into the mid to end of December. And yeah, so thank you for stopping by. Have a good uh, evening, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>